You're I'm doing, doing too, too much. much bro. You're, you're, you're trying lack to of understanding is showing. You're doing too much, bro. That makes no sense. Because you don't want to understand the analogy. This is always your problem. You never want to understand the analogy. I'm trying to. The thing is, like, anytime I try and make something as simple as possible, mm. you only look at it for for the for for what it is compared to the analogy mm. itself. Trying to explain something, I can mm. never explain something to you when you don't want to understand. It doesn't make sense. Because you don't want to understand. Because you can't just equate those two scenarios. They're not the same thing. Bro, I'm not talking about moving You're talking and about the unit of measurement and you're trying to base it off that and getting us to equate it to this scenario. I'm, I'm talking about the action of a service. I'm, I'm talking about the action of a service. And I'm saying that does not make sense. It does not equate to our scenario. That's why it doesn't make sense. It can't be equated. <laughs> You are now listening to The Black of the Berry, The Sweet of the Juice. Most record I made. <laughs> your name now. You just say your name. Uh, oh my God, it's right. <laughs> so DX, and then you say I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're just, you're like, you want the best of three worlds. <laughs> <laughs> You're scary, but now I understand why the girls are running away. Right? Because <laughs> all this time I've been thinking girls are crazy. Now it makes sense. Kishore. What's that nigga? Don't trust him. Oh, I had him already. Was that what they did for you? He's projecting. Am I in a relationship, Doxa? You've been claiming you've been. Really? <laughs> Don't look at me, bro. Where's the proof? Yourself. Where's the evidence? Where's the proof? All the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yo, chill, chill out. Where's the hottie? Where's the hottie somewhere else, y'all? <laughs> He's been juggling like two or something. Yeah. Huh? Where you from, bro? You gone to fam? But grew up in there. Okay. The ends. No Rodney. Who? No Rodney. Mutasa. Off. You know him? Yeah. Is that your cousin? No, it's a friend of mine. But like, that's a yeah. Guys kind of look alike. Shit. Yeah, I went to what? school with him. No way. Where? Nigga said he's from. I, I, no massive, way! Massive. Well, yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. that's crazy. Damn, damn, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah Rodney Jordan always put basketball with him all the time. Yeah, top. shit. Yeah. Nice. I used to play, bro, bro. Damn. I haven't played like now one and a half years, bro. Rodney was crazy, bro. He was, he was crazy. He's got he's got the little fucking things he does, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Rodney was crazy. Damn, this world is small as hell, huh? You what you play? Go for what? <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry, say that again. Yeah, what'd you play? Like golf or some um, shit? Um, in high school. Golf. Net bowls or what? Yeah. Go. Um, flex, play football. Flex. What were you? What were you? Tell him. Stop. Um, My nigga was a corner. Quarterback. No, no, corner. Quarterback. Oh shit! Yeah. What? Also, I did. I actually played cricket. I played cricket too. You yeah, just had to fun. kill it. <laughs> it's Bucky. He in played America? football. They won the state championship. In He's America, that nigga. You played cricket in America. No, 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 no. No, no let's focus on the football, please. Yeah, I played, yeah, yeah. I played, um, I played cricket when I was uh, before when I lived in the Caribbean. Oh, when did oh, And then I did a little bit of track, a little there. bit of cross country. Like my, I remember my freshman year of high school, I did cross country, and then I, I quit, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah cross country. Yeah. Were you a batsman, bowler, all rounder? What were you? Nah, it was just, just that. I was just trying just to stay the, active. What, man? Wow. <laughs> what? For 11th month, more like, more like 17th. Nah, bro, I started. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. Bowler, what did oh, you do? both. I did both. You did both. I played so on both sides. Uh, yeah, I was all around it. Spin, fast, medium. Yeah, I was outside. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Bro, every, I did everything. Cricket's fun, bro. Yeah, I love yeah, it. It's, 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 it's a fun ass sport. It's a fun ass sport. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't they play it in your. Never mind. What's your country's national sport? Soccer. Is it actually? Most countries national sports is soccer. In the Caribbean? Caribbean. Not in the, no, not in the no, Caribbean. Caribbean is cricket. No, I mean York. I'm asking yeah. for York. Yeah, soccer. Oh, soccer? So what year again? Trinidad. 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 Yeah, but, but big yeah. man. We don't see you nowhere, fam. You get me? Like, no, Trinidad. I don't even see Trinidad nowhere. Cause Jesus for soccer? Yeah, yeah like... We got, got taken out by the... We got taken out by Mexico for qualifiers. That's in qualifiers, right? Yeah, we beat uh, US, but then we lost to Mexico. So we were taken out. Oh, shit. I mean, it's better than losing to Ghana, but... 
<laughs> bro, as if God was a shit team. You lost to a shit team, and you what? Mexico's shit. Come on, bro. Mexico's better than Ghana. Yeah, are you saying are you saying Mexico shit? Huh? You saying Mexico shit? What? Are you oh Mexico God, shit? he's about to get canceled again. It's not possible, bro. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Yeah, let's I'm go. Don't say Mexico <laughs> shit when you're still in the line. Yo, we got some Mexicans that you know we're trying to still do the thing. If you get me, yeah. Bro, they all right. Get me your thing. They all get right. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all right, bro. Wow. They all right. But US, <laughs> US is a shit team. They're doing all right. Nah, this time. they're not shit The boys been shit, but Canada used to compared to. Canada to used to be shit too, and they made it pretty to far. Afcon nations, US is a shit yeah, but team. Not anymore. No, but the thing is, it doesn't. See, I'm talking about present day. Gone yeah, I'm talking about US. not anymore. No, like they're good now. Yeah, I'm telling no, you, they're, they're okay. They're not good. They make it, make it to the World Cup. Bro, have to be Ghana is longer the same way it used to be. They made it through qualifiers. Bro, That's not Ghana easy to do. is better than US. No, on the rankings, on the rankings, just World Cup, man. US was way better than Ghana, bro. Wow. On, on rankings, yeah, rankings are US team right now. Bro. Yeah, even performance. Bro, what do you think you get your rankings from? Bro. It's from your performance. You know why are you talking? No, 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 no. You're you literally naming wrong stats. No, 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 it's not about wrong stats, bro. Watch them play. They're shit. Oh, you see this World Cup fam? You did? Did you watch it? I watched it physically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> physically, you watched it. You watched it in dreams. <laughs> you watch US play, and you're telling me they're better than. Bro, listen, I've always been. I've always been that much shit, bro. Listen. Ghana right now is shit. It's shit. Yeah, tell bro, me it's shit. So, so, so. I, 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 I don't want to like. Right I don't want to right detour. Yes, 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 no, no. Ghana. I don't want to okay, detour so, from your conversation. So, so don't. But if Ghana is shit, what does that make Nigeria? Because you lost to Ghana. Bro, I'm not defending that. I'm just saying that <laughs> Trinidad is still shit. <laughs> It's not even brought into the fucking world. We up. beat the know. US. We beat the US. We lost to Mexico. Guy, bro, US is still shit, bro. Trinidad is still shit. Do you know how hard it is to make it to the World Cup? To make it past the qualifiers? So to say US is shit is okay, insane. Yeah, it's insane. That's what I'm saying. When was the last time Trinidad got to quarterfinals? Quarterfinals? But that's, but that's not his argument. Mm. Huh? But that's not his argument, though. Ah, he's like, 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 Oh yeah, nice. 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 I'll bring I'll bring uh, irrelevant yeah, topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toronto, oh, I'll bring irrelevant topics. Ah, ah, ah. This guy, rubbish guy, <laughs> <laughs> rubbish guy. <laughs> Dawson, do you play cricket? Yeah, when you bucket. <laughs> Make it fun. Just play <laughs> bitches. That's I'm what. A, I'm, <laughs> bro, I'm an athlete. I don't know about you. All, all you do is just run. Wow, That's all you can do. That's so insane. <laughs> I play running like all your. Oh, that's so insane! Wow, 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 wow! I played wow. every sport I could possibly play. Basketball? Is rugby your favorite? I, I couldn't. I didn't. I wasn't able to play basketball. So you didn't play. Every I said I could, could possibly, possibly play. play if you listen, because you played. Yes, yeah, yes. So it's impossible for you to play basketball. I could play it now. Okay, so you didn't play every I mean, sport you could, you could possibly you, you, you play. Could he asked me, did I play you could try. cricket? You definitely could have no, tried. I could play it now. As in, I've played it now. I'll show you. She's the one that was coaching me. I had mm. to learn basketball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How good are you? I'm shit because I'm still learning. <laughs> what's, what's your point? Do they play it in the UK like that or no? No, that's my point. <laughs> no, but anyway, cricket. no, no, no if you go to Eastern Europe, they play no, a lot. They didn't play it. No, in England. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said UK. No, you said Europe. No, you said Europe. No, I didn't. I said UK. No, oh, I thought you said you no. Know, UK, it's not major. It's not a major thing, but like no, some of the universities, there, a lot, like, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of boys still play yeah. basketball, but Dude. it's not a sport that you seek out. Yeah, you seek out. Yeah, it's, it's usually uh, soccer or some shit. Soccer like cricket, like football, swimming, football, cricket, rugby, rugby, water polo. What? Yeah, those are all sports that water still, polo? still water polo. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big yeah. thing. It's a hockey, big thing field there. hockey. Um, what else? Netball. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I played every sport I could possibly play, bro. I was top. Ah, no, I played <laughs> javelin. So you didn't play every sport you could possibly javelin. play? No, that's track. still track. That's no, track. I could possibly play. I didn't say every sport that's available. Mm. Track wasn't a sport that... But you're also when, forgetting when, when, that you're when, black. What does that mean? We're naturally athletic, so you should be able to do almost anything. Guy, okay, if I'm playing cricket for the first team, how am I going to mm. be able to do track as well? You play baseball? I feel this guy's just trolling you. Right? Don't mind I'm just I, play, I play rounders. I I'm play curious. Rounders. You play what? Round, rounders. Rounders. That, that was a that was a fucking PE fam. Tennis. Wait, yeah. rounders. What the hell is that? It's, no, it's, a it's game. essentially like 
a girl's version of a baseball. girl's version of like oh, of wow. like cricket. No of cricket. baseball. Yeah, baseball. Baseball. I mean like yeah, that's shit. Like pitching. So this is the same shit as like softball. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but not that fun. Doing, you know the way they do it. The bitches out here be doing, doing windows and shit, but I don't know what the fuck that is, bro. Make that shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Now, the sports I played, I played rugby. Rugby was my main sport. I played football. I mm-hmm. couldn't play football because of the school I was in. So yeah, that's how I played. I started playing rugby. Rugby, field hockey, uh, cricket. Those were the main sports throughout the whole year. I played all of them in the best teams. You know what you remind me of? Who? Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. What's, what's the correlation? Doing? What's the correlation? Right? Oh, just like in a white community, oh, yeah, then doing yeah, a bunch oh. of like white sports. Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was me. Yeah. Unfortunately. But here we are. What could you consider what could even be a white girl? What do you consider rugby a white sport? I couldn't pull a white girl. Just like when I hear field hockey. Bro, yeah, I see. I had. I had them in my, in my last like years. I was hot cake, bro. Yeah, yeah, hot cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With the yeah. marshmallow and shit, yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> was doing gym heavy time? Yeah, it, was, it was status that got me in, like, cause throughout throughout my whole what year, I'll tell you a story. God. I'll tell you a story. I had there was this girl. This uh, how many of them? Like six. There was this Ten? one girl that I had a crush on since year nine. So that's what <coughs> age. And you slept with her whole friend group. What's happening? Wow. Before oh. oh, okay. I'll finish. My <laughs> <God. laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so year nine, that's, I think that's like 12. I think I'm... Like I'm, year nine of you like girls? Or no, I'm saying? trying to explain to you in your system. I'm just trying okay, to explain yeah, my, the age okay. where I was. Yeah. So year nine is around, yeah, I think yeah. you're around like Great 12 years old. old. Yeah. Anyways, so... What grade 10 is that what you said? Yeah, around that age, <coughs> I don't girl that fancied, bro. I was always getting pawed from year nine all the way Why to year 11. Liar. And the same girl, bro, bro by almost general. all girls, wait, wait, wait. but you were the only black, black guy there, yes. Damn, yeah, that should give you an in. No, that's the, no, that's this is bro, bro. it doesn't work like that. Sometimes, it, no, 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 in England, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah, work like that. Actually it doesn't it only, like that, bro. This actually, is, yeah, it only works. starts working once you hit like around. 15, 18. That's when the black guys start getting into but fashion. But right now it's different, guys, man. Huh? Right now it's different. No, bro. now I'm saying, bro, you're, 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 bro, I'm talking little, about back then. My little cousin's 10. My little cousin's 10, but the guy's plugging bare. Bro, 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 age 15 yeah. one of the older guys he was uh th- year 30 so that's 18 he was about to leave and he just came to the side so he's one of the he was uh, again one of our very few black people in his year group came to me said yeah when you get to sixth form just be ready i thought you mean he didn't explain well, too much fair, yeah, yeah he didn't explain too much but the thing is because of obviously so once i start once i got like year 11 I'm starting to get noticed in sports in terms of like in school as well as other schools as well. Like Start to get noticed in school as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just nonsense guy. Okay. Then sixth form, I become a prefect. Yeah. I'm first team for pretty much every sport. Cricket, I was like in and out first and second. Mm-hmm. Hockey is the same thing as well. Mm-hmm. And then now, essentially, when you look at rankings and hierarchy, mm-hmm. I'm up there. Yeah, how, so, so, yeah. And then you, now the black people are starting to get into So how did you manage your shaggings in between? Like I didn't that? do it. Like how did you like did you like set a schedule or I you didn't had do someone it. doing your your day to day for I you? I still didn't do it. Why not? Because <laughs> I didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do it? You weren't no. attracted to them? Bro, it's not bro, do you have to shag everything you're attracted to? Is that what you're telling me? No, I asked you. I'm question. telling you, I, I just didn't want to do it. Attracted to them. I told you I didn't want to do it. So can you tell us why you didn't because want to do it? Because I did not want to I myself did not want to shag. So you don't have a definitive reason for why you That did is not my want definitive reason. I did not want so to shag. It's not it wasn't your religion, it wasn't the way they looked. Bro, you're I just, just did not want you. to shag. What's your issue? So why are you moving to you? Huh? Why are, because you said you were getting dubbed. No, I was getting dubbed all the way. But then mm. once I got to six one, I'm not the hot cake in the market. Doesn't mean oh I shag everyone. You got him. <laughs> bro, well, you tell me you shag everything? Why? Everything, everything that's attracted to you, you shag? Can I 
Bossman, nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying everything in that, bro. What we're saying is that like, Bossman, you don't even get one in there. No, come on. Back, I told you back. No, I didn't tell you. No, I'm telling you. Back wait, then, wait, wait. I, so I was, you were, I didn't, can, I didn't can have I ask sex. This? I, I was so you were moving to them, sex. but you didn't want to shake. You just wanted like a relationship. Bro, at that at that age, are you telling me that's where you start shagging? At that no, age. that's not what I'm but saying. Yeah, oh, I'm I said I just like them. <laughs> I understand. I'm actually just asking you a question and waiting for the answer. I don't know how to answer that one. Huh? <laughs> Wait, how? Look, in my at yeah. that age, sex is not my mind. Okay. At which age was that now? This is from 12 to 18. Is that your mind? Guys, not my mind. Wow. No, I'm just kids wasn't hold on hands. Your mind? <gasps> Guys, you must have been see, guys, you can, you can see who the real criminals are. No, no, it's not about being criminal, bro. It's about being you. All I wanted to do was kiss and hold hands. Your puberty game was Okay, that. so that was your intent. Was it really that hard? You could have just said, I wanted to kiss her and hold her hand. What? You just said, all I wanted to do was kiss and hold hands. So that's what you wanted to do. That was your intent for pursuing, for pursuing them, correct? Really you didn't ask me my intent, though. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I said, what was your intent with them? And then you guy, started doing that. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You were closer to Did he ask that question? I don't remember. <laughs> Rubbish guy. Okay. I was a strong liar. This is very clever. He's though. not clever. <laughs> don't mind him. Don't let you still have John, not John answered my question. Like, what's your question? What was your intent? Why were you moving to them? Because I wanted to kiss and hold hands. Are you, Thank are you happy you. now? Yes. I'm very happy. <laughs> so what do you think guy. that would have led to? Guy, I don't know. Interesting. So you think when your little friend downstairs started to, you know. Starts, you know, starts st- playing a little. Stir up the stairs, you know. Yeah, you do know. you think it would have led to anything possible, bro? No, bro. What are you really? talking about, bro? You could just I had, I had. <laughs> so what? Okay, <laughs> eighteen, about, eighteen. I had. Wait, wait, hold on. Eighteen. I had a girlfriend because again, uh, it's, it's down to attractions, uh, right? Mm-hmm. I had a girlfriend. These things are happening, but I don't want it to go any further. Okay, I'm not saying like. I don't know what it was. I just didn't want to go that further. I feel you. Yeah, I was the same way. Hmm. This advocate. Yeah, anyway. Even if you came in here, I can't believe it. <laughs> no, so. <laughs> so what? I'm I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want it to go for. I didn't know. I didn't know why. <laughs> I, I didn't know why until I met girls that I now really, really like. So and I'm really physically attracted to so them. when you finally saw changed. white girls that's when you're like okay now I can have sex when you finally saw black women nice hmm? huh fucking lucky <laughs> can we switch to Sheree uh, sorry when you finally saw black women right cause you were surrounded by white I'll, people I'll probably say it's just was your girlfriend white yeah she was see? white I to- see I told you bro what it's the truth so your, girlfriend was white. your girlfriend was white yeah, your girlfriend was you white. You weren't around black people like that until you came to Winnipeg, correct? Yeah. There you go. Aww. But that doesn't have anything to do with me. What's your, what, what's what are you trying to say then? Say you're not jacking white girls. <laughs> no, no, you no, said no, you see, think they're no, trash. No, 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 no. <laughs> Said it wasn't until you came here that you know. It's saying, okay. White girls can't cancel. It's, 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 it's all we can. It's, we can all guess. I like. I I don't know exactly what because if I got with my actual crush at the time, it might have been different. Mm-hmm. This one was circumstance. She asked me out. I didn't realize she asked me out. I said yes. I didn't realize what I was saying yes to you until I got in a situation so where. First dribble back. You said if you got with your crush, yeah? So why is this If I. That nigga was a. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, did she reject you? I need to find that shit. <laughs> that was good. She's trying to find a video of you from back in the day. From back in the day? Yeah, you posted it. No. I posted it. Yeah, you did. What was the video about? He's about to find it, so you better. You know, <laughs> oh Jesus! He's gonna find. It. He, he always finds it. That's one thing. He, has no, he always finds it for everyone, but his own videos he never finds. He's gonna find it. He's, He's always forgetting it. shit. No, but you gotta go back to what you said. You said like you should go in the crowd. Oh, oh shit! Mm, romance. So this mm-hmm. guy was in the slut, huh? Mm. Does that mean I'm having sex? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. Wait, does I that mean I'm having sex? Even get, he sent it to us. He sent it to us. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, let's see that investigation. Wow, that's it. You were the only nigga. Like, yes! Yo, bro, that is insane. Bro, <laughs> yes! Like, the yeah. only nigga, bro. If you're trying to choose, fam, the whole squad's getting cut. <laughs> I'm telling you, all of them will be in the bag. Right. All of them will be like, who was there? Calvin was there, fam. <laughs> 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 I 
on button this shirt. I grind. Get a dance. Man, you that, that, that was so you definitely moving. I'm not going to lie to you. 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 Just because I know how to dance doesn't mean I'm shaggy, bro. Look at him clapping his hands. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Just because I know how to dance doesn't mean you know, the argument has you been debunked. You need a defense lawyer, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro, these are all false accusations and elements of doubt in all your stories. All right, folks. Give me one strong fact. Tell me. I'm waiting. So you can assure us, look us in the eyes, straightforward, and say, I did not lose my virginity until I came to Winnipeg. I did not lose my virginity in school. In school. So where did you lose it? In the park in the forest? What was going on? Only God knows. So it was in Winnipeg or it wasn't in Winnipeg? I don't know what you're implying because this is getting cut out anyways. Okay. <laughs> so was it in Canada or United Kingdom? That was recently. Okay. So oh, it was yeah? in Canada. Well, well, like, it was like, recently. Like, yeah. like, recent, like, like, recent, recent. Recent, <laughs> recent. <laughs> More <laughs> recent times. <laughs> you, recent. Boy, man, you need a medal of honor, bro. <laughs> so you don't know you which country honor. it was in. No, it's it's in no, I said Canada. I said, I said yes. It's in Canada. Okay. I said yes. So how many years? I'm ago? in Canada. Canada. Well, how many years ago? It was recently. So recently. Yes. Recently. The last six months. It was recently. Jesus Christ, man. Interesting. How did it feel? It's good, yeah. I cried. Did you cry? Yeah. You cried? Yeah, I cried. It's funny, I actually heard a lot of uh, yeah, niggas say, say yeah, 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 niggas, yeah. When niggas just are doing they cry. No, wait, hold on, 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 hold <laughs> no, 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 it's not that, bro. It's the fact that you lost your virginity. That's, what, that's what you do with you cry. That's what we're saying. Yeah, 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 I cried. It was good. Yeah, that was that good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, he cried. <laughs> What's wrong with this nigga, man? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing like this? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, this is false. Why you laughing at? I just told him so one of my friends that cried also made this side of funny. No, aside from you, obviously. So you told him the guy who cried. That's yeah, what's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's yeah. 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 Did you cry? To be, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest and open, bro, the only I'm reason... Wolf, I don't cry, I just bark after it, bro. I'm like, what? <laughs> no cap. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God, you man, you don't. No, look. I don't, I, I, see, I'm to, be, to be to be honest and open, the only reason I cried was was it was like my I held sex to such a high That's standard. That's what I was about to say. That's about to yeah, say. I, and the box was trash. No, I just, <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong no, with you? what? No. So you know, so you know, watch your mic, by the way. So you know, let's give, us, give us like a little. Pull it, pull it close to you. Brief ordeal, you know. How how that went down? The reason, the reason, the re- again, the reason I cried was because I held sex so highly. And because I held sex so highly, um, it, it felt like this was pretty much the end. I'm going to hell. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, what, like, what else is left? Do you get what I'm saying? And, and also, I never thought I would ever do it. I thought I'm saving this to marriage. Same. And there's an idea of the sanctimonious nature of it <laughs> being till marriage. Mm-hmm. I've lost that. Yeah. That was a heavy thing for me. That's why I oh. cried. There's no going back. Yeah. So when you did it again, did you cry again? What do you mean? <laughs> like after you did it again, like did I say two. I did it again? Like round two. Is this implied? Did Did I say I did? Oh, you only nigga. did it once, huh? You only did it once, have you? I didn't say that either. Oh yeah. Niggas How many times have you done it? Niggas acting like niggas moving like Isaac. What about the fiftieth girl that you've done? Whoa. Fiftieth. What did she say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That I confess my feelings for. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I get. I get. I get. Wow. I said the fiftieth. Wow. How you sure? Huh. Oh, is it more? Hmm. That I fell in, like fall in love with fifty mm. women is kind of crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Well, to I'm you. a lover boy. Wait, how many girls you been? Fifty women at the age of twenty sleep. is very. As a, as a real shit. How many girls you been love with? You say that you girls you can say that I've I've actually liked this girl. I've been in a relationship. I've loved her. Whatever. How many? How many of them? I love every woman. 
Because you have right. to think about it. Yeah, we're all brothers and sisters in Oh Christ. my God. Yes, we are. You're supposed to Bro, love your brothers. Why, why do you choose this platform to lie? I don't understand. I love everyone. Why do you choose this platform to lie? I pray for everyone. I also pray for you too, you know, sometimes. Often the times I wake up, you know, I think about you as well. You get me? Amen. It's like that. The real love is like that. You get me? What about you? Me, that God's have been loving. I love the word, cuz. You get me? You love the word? I love the word, you get me? Every continent I've been there, I love everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, that's why it is. You know, life is good. You know, you know, go up to the mountains, look up to Allah, see. To the mountains? <laughs> No, got to the mountains, you know. When was the last time you been to the mountains, Ray? Last time I've been to the mountains, bro. It's like two months ago. <laughs> I got some enlightening experience out there, you get me? The sun hit me nice and well, you know, I came back, I was just blossoming. I was like, yo, what's going on? You give me the vibes as niggas that have like multiple girlfriends at the same time. Wow. Well, what was, what was your but, they know, but, but they know about each other, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're a brutally honest guy, so like, you like... You say you have like you have you say you're dating like three girls. Uh, they all know about each other type shit. Bro, I'm like that. Come. You are. But I'm brutally honest, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm brutally honest. Yeah. Yeah. And you date multiple men at the same time. I'm just brutally honest, fam. <laughs> <laughs> just brutally honest, you know. If it is what it is, it is what it is. But <laughs> if it is what it is, it is what it is. But it's like this, yeah. It's like this. This is what I say. You know the thing is like you know when you, if I'm seeing like a couple of girls or whatever it is, and. First of all, it's none of our girls' business to to mend about shit, you know what I mean? So if you're gonna ask me a question about it, like, stay where you're staying because I ain't wife to you yet. If I told you that you're nothing about wifey and that, stay in the back ends, you get me? But like, if, if I'm wifeing you and that, yeah, it's different. That's different, you know, and like, yeah, I'm a marriage guy, you get me? I'm, not, I'm a marriage guy. So then when I'm there, I'm there. You know? Yeah, but you know, you tell the part you got a car out though. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you probably got caught. Which one yeah. of the shorties is watching? That's all we gotta know now. Do you think <laughs> you can be brutally honest in relationships or there's certain things you have to censor? There's certain things you have to censor. Like what? Because women can't take the truth. Wow. Whether you like it or not. What do you have to say? <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. No, we're I just wanna ask. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, ask. yeah. But we're do not done. Think I want you to expand on that. No, God, let uh, no I will expand that. Let me tell you what it is, yeah? Try, try not to touch the mic too much. Oh, yeah, yeah no yeah, worries. Just, nice. I'm lying from that guy, by the way. You know, you every time you should do it. What'd you say? It's facts. <laughs> that was good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, but no, but this is what it is actually, yeah? A lot of times, girls came to want to know the truth, yeah? But they're not equipped to take the truth most of the time because why everything they, they usually navigate around is their feelings and it's feelings. Wherever you tell them something, honestly, you have to find a way to deliver a message in a way that's not very... It's direct to the point, but it's not helpful or very... Whatever it is, it just points the message that across to her, like, oh, I receive it, but I'm not, look, I'm not looking like you're punching me directly in my fucking mouth. You know what I mean? Let me look at it like this. You can tell her bitch, like, yo, bruv, that whatever you fucking did is fucking stupid. She'll be like, what are you, what are you talking about? You're telling me, you oh, yo, girl, yeah, listen, yeah? That stuff that you did over there, I don't appreciate that. I would just appreciate if you don't do that again. Different message, different take, right? So do you think you have to do that because girls act on their emotions too much? If you want to protect your sanity, yes, you can. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you know, you're not to Are we are we applying this just to women then? Well, listen, we, yo, when it comes to mandem, you don't have to be no soft to mandem. You don't. Do, but you're only saying this from your perspective. I mean, it depends. Like, are you a weak, are you softy or what? We can all agree with what you're saying, but what? we also know a lot of guys. Yeah, true, hundred percent. Exactly, no, hundred percent. I but, uh, see but you know a guy like that. But to you but don't to, got but to, but to be honest, to be I don't think I have a friend where I have to say certain things. The way I agree. I, I, I don't. I can't think of one. No, I, I can only agree on one thing is that the people who I have to le- least censor a little bit, because I mean, even the girls like, who are around me, they know me now. Like, I'm not going to say something, you know, say something like too short for you just to take it because, you know, you, you want you want to feel some sign way about it. I'll tell you directly, like, yo, this is what it is. Like, you need to cut this shit out. You know what I mean? And for a reason. For the reason why is because, like, a lot of people out here, especially like Mandem, you know, they want to speak that speak softly about certain, t- t- certain type of things but you don't get to the point you only get to do with some certain type of shit if you don't talk about them directly because you, a lot of guys you know I could be like coming up to Docs and I'm like yo yo yeah you know Docs say yeah yeah you're beating around the bush but the message not going to cross you're not going to fix your shit but come to me you're a big man yeah whatever you did your mama that, that's fucking stinky fam don't do that bro you get me like you're big ups you got to change your life you know you know what I mean but if I come to you a Docs say yeah yeah you know yeah you're alright well at the end yes, of the day that, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, when, when we talk about things in general and we apply them to our friend groups, we forget there are other people outside of our friend groups. I mean, there's always going to be outliers. There's always going to be outliers. We can only discuss these, these, for our experience. These aren't outliers, though. 
there are many all liars though guy open your eyes there are many guys <laughs> Yes, of all course, useless. but not in our circle. So we're just talking about from our experience. Anything other than our experience is outliers. So you're telling me you've honestly never seen a guy that is the action of his emotions. And you're telling me... No, if, there is if, that. Wait, wait, wait. If, if you're going to tell me... problem if, with wait, 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 you're going to ask this question, <laughs> you're going to tell me that this is one of one that you've seen. There aren't many guys that act on their emotions i mean it could be many but what the point is is like the no, ones no, no, no. That i'm, I'm asking because now what you what want to narrow it down to your experience right but that, so that so wasn't I'm, what he asked though it wasn't, no, no, no. It wasn't see it's not what he's not what you asked what i'm saying is that this conversation when we talk about women right mm. the problem is we act as though every other guy is like us no no that's the thing there are too many guys out here that also act on their emotions. So when we apply things to women and make it seem as though it only applies to women, it doesn't make sense. But I want to say this though, right? Not every guy is like us, but we do not want to be around those other guys. That no, no, like but you, you know I mean? but when we, when we say when we yeah, say things you like know, you know, what I mean? but when we say things like guys are logical, guys don't act on their emotions, then what are we doing? We're applying it to guys. We're speaking. Now. It, we're speaking it in general. In generality, yes, That's but in gen, but in generality. I'll be what what you said. Like, how many guys are in that top percentage of guys that actually think logically? I mean, statistics have proven that most guys think logically. Most guys do. And think what's logically. that percentage looking like nowadays? I mean, it's there. It's just like well, most guys right now are more are much more effeminate than before. We've got a lot of pushes walking the street, fam. So this this is my point. <laughs> you did. This is my point. No, I'm just saying straight facts. We got a lot of pushes walking that street. Like, you, this you know, is, if we don't say it, that's what it is. You know, we got a lot of man them out here acting jack. Shoulder back, all this, whatever. But out there in the fucking women's ears or whatever, fuck they're doing. They're doing some, some there we go. Some crazy thing. There we go. So like crazy thing, bro. You, you get you get what I'm saying. Well, I mean, that's what it is. But does does hmm. Hmm. does feeling equate to logic? No, necessarily. No, because that's what we're comparing right now. Yeah, when but then that's, that's logic, always that's always the comparison. That's, that's the comparison, comparison. But my question is, does it does logic compare to feeling? Because everyone things. feels things. Exactly. Right, but because you feel things, that doesn't mean you cannot think logically. Yeah, but not, not many guys think logically. Yeah, but I think it. it is can't it not many guys think logically, or is it that? No, I'm saying the feelings overrule. I'm saying we're in a time, <clears throat> we're in a time where not many guys think logically. There are a few guys that do, and when we talk and we talk about guys in general. Wait, wait, you're, you think we're in a time where not many guys think logically? Yes, that's what I'm. Why that's she said that. <clears throat> Everything because I see. Statistics have proven otherwise. Everything I see. You can say statistics. I'm also seeing there are a lot of guys that act on their emotions that don't think straight. I'm seeing there are a lot of guys that are doing things that don't seem logical. I'm seeing there are a lot of guys that are not doing things that you're, as a guy, you're expected to do. Mm. I'm seeing that. Mm. The people around me, I know I choose the people around me to the best of my ability, and the people around me don't act that way but i'm still not oblivious to realize that there are other guys that are acting wayward i have girlfriends and i listen to them when they talk about guys and their experiences show that there are too many waste men yeah but it is but but you can also look at it this way there's a lot of waste men that choose to be a waste man yeah but they're still waste yeah but she's still waste man they choose to be a waste man it's not that they're waste they just choose to to be a waste man for them girl but they're still waste i mean they're not waste fam you can choose to be a waste man, but not be a waste man, bruv. It's, okay, what, it's so what you deliver, declare, deliver. what you show, how you act and whatever is because you want to deliver a certain type of caliber to this person as an image. Yeah, but it's not like that's, that's who you are. Yeah, but if you're doing things that are waste man... Waste man like. That still makes you a waste man because you're acting in that... You're behaving... Does it? Those Let me ask you a question. You cast a lot. Let's say if you cast a lot, yeah? I'm just giving an example. You, you, if you cast a lot, right? You say fuck this, whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. Does that make you? Does that, does that make you stupid, man? that you can't speak English. No. I'm just giving no. I'm just giving no, 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 example. You're giving an example. It's, it's valid. It's valid. But hold on. From if somebody's yeah. actually stupid or if they're acting. If, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah, yeah. yeah but if if like, you're if, if you're, you're acting stupid, you're still stupid in that instance. No, you're not stupid. You're not stupid. You're doing stupid. Yeah, but you're still doing. You're still you're still doing stupid behaviors. Yeah, because stupid because you want. You want to do that to show some people that you do whatever the fuck you're doing because that's, that's not the, reason you're for the definition yeah. of stupid. It means you are acting, acting that certain way. 
It's just like, yeah, just like how when you say, oh, Dawson, you're acting, <laughs> right. just how, if I was to say, Dawson, you're acting stupid right now, you know that I'm not calling you stupid, stupid. I'm saying you're yeah, but, acting that no, way. No, but if I'm doing something that's stupid, I am being stupid in that instance. Well, okay. Now we, am I not? No, we just, like, yeah. we have to agree to disagree on that. Because I, wait, when you say that, I when use the term. No, right, but no, 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 hold on, hold on. If, if, stupid thing? Wait, if, yeah. if you're calling me stupid mm-hmm. and what I'm doing is not stupid, mm-hmm. it might be stupid to you, but it's not like what I'm doing is not stupid. If you're calling me stupid and I'm mm. doing something stupid, I am being stupid. Yes, but that's my point. We're not calling you stupid. We're calling the act, act of, of we're calling what, the yeah, act of it stupid. We're so, so are we, so are we just gonna say that everyone, everyone is is exempt from their actions because no one, no one's saying no. That. But to act is exhibiting an action. But not, that's not what he's saying, fam. He's saying because you even said the word being. What's being? What's what's what being? Being is being part stupid. Doing, the act of being stupid, fam. Okay, hold on. We're, we're, we're digressing too far because what I'm saying is that look, you, you said if I if I cuss a lot, right? if I cuss a lot, does yeah. that make me? Uneducated or literally. Yeah, it's a mega uneducated or whatever. There's, there's, a, there's a, a lot of things. If I cuss a lot and you tell me I'm someone that cusses a lot. Yeah. Does that mean I don't cuss a lot? No. Exactly. Let's stop there. If someone is being and acting like a waste man, mm-hmm. are they not a waste man in those actions? Listen, they're being and acting like a waste man. If you use the word acting like, you already killed your fucking... You're fucking bro, talk over see, there because bro, it's look, acting like that. Bro, I, I see. No, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not accepting. I'm not accept. Like I'm not. I'm not accepting but, anyone but, that. But the thing is, that thing chooses is. that chooses to be a waste man, and then you're gonna now try and convince me that you're not. You can't. You see, the thing is, it's not about trying to convince you that you're not. What I'm trying to tell you is this: Yeah, there's there, there's a, there's a large demographic of Monday or whatever people that are out there who are doing stupid shit not because they're stupid, but they're doing it for the basis of something. They have something they're doing it for. It could be showing someone that they're stupid or whatever it is. Let me give an example, right? If I go out there, yeah, and there's a certain group of girls or whatever that I'm, that I'm running around with, you get me? There's one that I, there's this one who I find who is kind of, some, someone that I like who fits my fucking, you know what I mean? And then you have mm-hmm. others who don't really fit my, you know, fit, fit whatever it is that I'm, that I'm aligned with. Criteria, yeah. yeah. I want to act stupid to have a girl like that. Like a waste man thing because I don't really want that girl. Oh, oh slow, 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 wait, wait, slow, slow, slow. Give an example. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, in this example, you want something that you don't want. Because this guy wants something that you don't want. It's, it's about what you <laughs> want, bruv. You just told... No, I'm just going by what you said. I said... You said you're acting stupid to get a girl, but you know you don't want that girl. That's yeah, what you, that's yeah, what you yeah, just but said. There's a reason. You don't want to get the girl, but there's something else that you want. Yeah, but... Hey, bro, hey, no, see, listen to it. No, see, I do not want the girl. This is, but there's something else that I want for it. And then what, what now happens when you get everything accompanied with the girl? But I don't want it. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say, yeah. If I if I don't want the girl, number one, yeah. I'm, I, but what I want, I want. What, to get okay, boxed. what do you want from her? Yeah, I would say the one I don't want, I want to get boxed, bro. I don't want to get boxed. I'm you want to get boxed, but you can get boxed without getting all the extra rubbish. Can you not? Are you sure you cannot? You can I, though. You if can, you, if, bro. If it's about, it's also about the duration, though. The duration no, about, which you're dealing, see, what you stay, what it's all about. What? There's no problem. There's going in. This, this is, this is, this is, if you want box, uh-huh. you can get box without <laughs> having to, uh. <laughs> what's going on? Nothing bro, nothing, go ahead. Oh, go you ahead. want box, yeah. Is the conversation, is the conversation dead? Is that no, what you're no. trying to say? I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Because, I, look, my, my point is that this is what's happening with a lot of guys now. Mm. They're going around getting with girls they don't want to get just because they want sex and then they complain like, that it, but yeah go on, go on. they complain yeah. about all the girls mm. like being a certain way these aren't girls that you want yeah if you just want sex you can pay for sex whoa yeah well i mean that's that, that's another angle you're saying it's another angle but it's the angle that releases you from actually calling girls stupid from calling girls waste from doing things or for it, it releases you from considering girls from your experiences and painting girls as a certain light you don't need to you don't need to experience all this shit that comes with those shit girls just because you want sex because you can pay for sex and not have the shit but then what happens is that a lot of guys are going for these shit girls and then painting every other girl like shit because when we further this narrative of I just want sex I don't want the girl you're, you're still going to get everything that comes with that girl 
Not necessarily. Even if you pay for it, you're still gonna you're get. You still it. get everything. Bruh. Not necessarily. Who's to say? Not, not think she's just a silent body that's just gonna stand there and not talk. No, but if people if people give you a service, but that you're dealing the with, giving you're trying to court, you're, look, yeah, Isaac, you can pay for a service you want. When you're trying to court a girl or get with a girl, it can be the exact same thing when you're paying for it. She yeah. can do all the exact same things. There's really no telling. You can't really give me a situation. My, see, my point is, never my point is, sex, so my you point don't is, know how it goes. My point is, every girl that you, every girl that you move to, or let's say you're moving to a girl, mm-hmm. you're trying to move to this girl. How would you know if she's able to? Um, if she's able to separate the sex from trying to be with you or all the extra shit, how would you know? But you, you can't really know. You don't. You can't. And it's even more. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, wait, let's, let's not go that far. Hold on. Let's not go that far. Hold on. If someone has a job as a prostitute, yeah. yeah, I know it's possible to pay a prostitute and she can still bring the whole drama. But I'm saying, yeah. if you're paying for a service, mm. you're going for that service and that service only. Once you leave that place. You're most likely not going to see... There's 90% chance that you're not going to see that person. There are a few chances that you, that person will come and disturb you. That'd be good. Compared so, to, in reality, where it's 50-50. Okay, so you're telling, me, you're telling me it's the same... Or you're saying it's different from... If I was to get with a girl and tell her I do not want anything serious, I just want sex, and we have sex, and you're saying if I pay for sex and we have sex, you, don't you have think to have, there's yeah. more of a possibility of the first girl's causing me problems yes i don't think there's really a way to measure that there is because no, they, no, they, they, no, they, no, no you but you can't measure it let me tell you why let me let me also tell, tell why you can't measure it bro it's like this everyone's I see where coming from I see where there's you're coming no from, way of measuring yeah? that but, but i don't want to see the angle i don't want to this is this is no, this, this is a lot of ignorance because because look, in, in, look. No, this is your look, personal if, opinion. If, when if you don't job, have any look, proof, I, but you, no, you, you're, no, you're acting like it doesn't. You're acting no. like what I'm saying doesn't exist. No, you're doing this it on paper. Does exist? Do exist but it I know you're doing it around too. If the camera is on, on, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying you have no proof to back up your statement. God. Right. No, but this conversation pro- don't make sense when you guys are not gonna. When no, you guys are not gonna. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you come from. I'm, and what it is, yeah, there's a possibility on on, on all fronts, yeah, that that could happen. But you can't. You can measure. It, is what I'm saying. No, no I don't need to you measure. Can't measure it, you can't measure. It. Unless you want to do a poll. No, no, you're trying to. You're trying to. No, 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 there's more of this, more of it. You still can't prove that. But what I, what I, what I get from what you're saying. <laughs> okay, okay. Let that? me put it this way. <laughs> no, but I'll get over. Yeah, yeah, there's no this way. unit of measurement. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, look, we're doing this for loss, right? But mm-hmm. the, the, the problem is, look, if you ask Shorey to help you to move, right? <laughs> move what? No, yeah. I think he's like, saying you're going to you're gonna do an analogy, right? Yeah. But do you want to do it? Uh, Look, yeah. if if you're paying for a service for yeah. movers to help you move your house, right? You do not expect them to be hassling you for more money. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. If you ask your friend to help you to move, they can hassle you for anything else. They can come and be around you for everything else to cause you an issue. In that instance, you could, are you going to now tell me there's no unit of measurement? It doesn't matter about unit of measurement. Just use your sense. If you're paying for Those a service, two complete if, if, wait names. now. If wait, if you're paying for a service that's exclusive to a service, uh-huh. you're not expecting that person to give you problems. Mm-hmm. It can happen, but you're not expecting that. If you're if you're dating a girl, the expectation is that she can do anything afterwards. You can have an agreement, but you guys are still the same people that are telling me, "Oh, this girl I've done this with, and then she's giving me issues." This girl, so I've done. How many prostitutes have you paid for that's giving you issues? So you are trying to equate entering somebody where chemical reactions happen, physical oh, reactions Isaac, happen, to moving Isaac, a box. Isaac, you're doing too much, bro. I'm doing too much <laughs> with your trash analogy. Bro, you're, 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 I'm doing, you're doing too, too much, much bro. You're, you're your lack of understanding is showing. Moving you're doing a too box much, bro. that makes no sense. Because you don't want to understand the analogy. This is always your problem. You never want to understand the analogy. I'm trying to. The thing is, like, anytime I try and make something as simple as possible, mm-hmm. you only look at it for for the for for what it is compared to the analogy mm-hmm. itself. Trying to explain something, I can mm-hmm. never explain something to you when you don't want to understand. It doesn't make sense because you don't want to understand. Because you can't just equate those two scenarios. They're not the same thing, bro. I'm not talking about. Moving, you're talking about a unit of measurement, and you're trying to base it off that and getting us to equate it to this scenario. I'm talking about the action of a service. 
I'm, I'm talking about the action of a service. And I'm saying that does not make sense. It does not equate to our scenario. That's why it doesn't make sense. It can't be equated. On the basis of the service argument. So, tell me this. Right? Just tell me this. You, yeah, you may say you don't expect the company to hustle you wherever blah, blah, blah is. But are you telling me there's no possibility? I didn't say there's no possibility. Okay, you agree that you agree there, right? You agree? Like, yeah, yeah, I there's agree. A possibility or whatever, right? So let me say, what about the possibility that I don't want to pay? For, I, don't, I don't want to pay for a prostitute. They, you, that's your choice. Yeah, it's a choice, isn't it? So if that's I'm your choice. so if I'm it's, if, it's, it, but if I'm engaging in girl, then yeah, and I don't want to pay for a prostitute. So I'm going back to the original thing. What you're saying? What are you trying to take away from me exactly? When you say that, okay, um, why should you be hustling the girl? You get me? Instead, you can go to prostitute and get box. What? But what, what are you trying what, to take okay. away from? What are you trying when, to take away from that? When, when, what's, what's the okay. point? When you, when you pay for a service, mm -hmm. do you expect any other outside like problems? It is not the point. The point what I'm trying to say is, what are you trying to take away from me when you start saying like, you, instead of instead of messing out with the girl, right? You should go to you should go to prostitute what, and prostitute okay. and get your thing. The the why 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 I'm why yeah, I'm saying why I'm saying uh -huh. that you should pay go for on, sex go on. if you're looking for sex mm -hmm. is because when you're messing with other girls. Mm -hmm. There's a larger possibility that you're going to have a bunch of rubbish that comes with it where you're then going to apply it to other girls. If a girl's causing you a headache and you deal with multiple girls, what are you going to say? Oh, girls are headaches. So, right? so, so how do you get an experience? Wait, huh? How do you get an experience? All that comes with experience, bro. Experience as yeah, well. Experience, 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 of, experience of what? In the entirety of it. But what are you looking for? You're not looking for the entirety, you're looking for sex. Yeah, you that, that's the consequence. The experience is the consequence. It's it's of okay. The experience is the, is the consequence yeah. of sex. Yeah. Right. If there are services out there where you don't need to have the bad experiences, all you can get is just what you're looking for. Why don't you go to those services? Because me going to the services is not is not what I'm looking for. Because let me say let me say let me give you an example. Like yeah, there's a prostitute, whatever. If I fucking go to prostitute, fucking Winnipeg or whatever it is, bro, the whole thing about the engagement, the process is all different, you know? Because number one, I'm paying for a service. Most of us got, got, them, got them who want to work around with our own, you know, work around with our own game, influence and do all these type of things. We're not just going to go fucking pay for pussy just, 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 just to get in there. So we're okay. gonna go all around. We gotta mesmerize, fam. We gotta okay. play the game. We gotta do the thing. Okay, so we gotta get to make so it's not just sex something. you want then, bro. Sex is sex is what no, sex hold, is on, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh huh. It's not just. I'm asking you: Is it just sex that you want? It's the sex that I want. Is that the only thing? Listen, it's the sex that I want. But the is that, that the there's only, no only involved thing? The sex, bro. Is that the only thing you're looking for? That's what I'm looking for. Then is that the only thing? In particular, if at that moment or whatever, I've not decided I'm wanting to go and look for a relationship, I'm looking for the sex, fam. Is that the only thing? Bro, there's no point if you're going to say the only thing. You want to extract information that's not going to add to the point, bro. It is because if, if that's the only thing you're looking for. Mm -hmm. There are services that that provide that only thing. Obviously, there are a lot of bad businesses around. But if there are services that provide that only thing, go for that only thing. If you want to, if you want to get your game up, mm -hmm. if you want to have sex while you get your game up, if you want your experience with women, that's a different conversation. But then go to a prostitute. Then I understand your argument. But if you're saying all I want is just sex, go and get sex where sex is just exclusive to its own, I get rather than rather than so wanting you're talking about doing the morally correct thing for yourself. No, I'm not talking so about morally correct. Say, I'm trying to say if you it want, makes more sense to go to a prostitute. If you want the one point. thing, so it makes more sense to do the illegal thing. Isaac, <laughs> <laughs> think, boy, you don't want to have this conversation. No, 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 Isaac, that's not where you're going. You don't want to have this conversation. You're just being immature right now. No, no, but I'm, I'm, going with I you. get your point. You're trying to say is that if sex is the only thing I'm looking for. Because no, no, wait, wait. Before you carry Isaac, on, you, yeah. you, because I'm only going based on what you said. Okay, you said yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just want sex. In that sentence, the first sentence you said, I just want sex. My. My thing is, if you just want sex, mm -hmm. there are services that give you just sex uh -huh. without all the rubbish experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got, if I you just want saying. that, do that. What's now happened is that you guys are you're conglomerating a lot of different things into what I'm saying and making what mm. I'm saying look like it's non plausible. Whereas what I'm saying is plausible. You agree it's, pl it's plausible. Non plausible. Why that to, that was not my school. point. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about him with. All I said was... Bro, you never know what we're talking about. You always have what you want to talk <laughs> nice. about. 
All I said was you have no way of proving or measuring your point. There's no bro, okay, way okay, bro, you if, can if, prove it as of right now. Maybe you can do it or create a poll. But I'm saying as of right now, you have no way of proving what you are saying. Bro, that is what I said. If, if you're, if you're going to go by that, there's no way of proving a lot of things, bro. Mm-hmm. If, if, you pay, if you pay for so insurance. You have no way to back up your statement. So no conversation we ever have is able is ever gonna be able to have. Do you have an experience with a friend where he's paid for sex and he hasn't had that? Bro, situation? all I'm saying is I'm just that, asking for an experience. All I'm saying where you is that it. there's a service that gives you one thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Which is the sex, and then you back out, and then you leave. Yes. Is what I'm saying. Yes. There's a service that gives you one thing. Uh-huh. If you're looking for that one thing, right. go and get that one thing. Right. If you're looking for more, I can understand why you're now going to get with girls to get experience and all of that right. rubbish. There's, like, what, my, my point is that there are a lot of guys that just want just sex. Mm-hmm. And they go into a situation where they're getting more than sex. Of course. And then, and then they complain. Yes. And they generalize. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And they generalize yeah. 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 That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Why yeah. Do, how did we get to calculations and... What, like, I don't understand. <laughs> do you, do you, you understand what I'm saying? You of measurement. And your I, I did. No, actually, Calvin, Calvin, I, I Calvin did. actually brought No, I'm, yeah. I brought I brought a statement, but you brought the, 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 the whole measuring whatever this yes. is. I, know, I, did, I didn't say, bring, I didn't bring yeah. up measurements. No, 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 no but yeah, no, but no, your, your point is I didn't, I didn't bring up measurements. The only reason I started to use analogies was because Isaac was saying he didn't understand. Right. No, okay, we get that. You know, Isaac is, yeah, Isaac, you know, he's a bit of a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bit of a joke But, you know, he was making some points to you, know? But anyway, I get what you're saying. But what you're saying, so what you're trying to tell me is, you're, you're gonna, he's going to try to tell Mandam, yeah? If you're looking for just sex, yeah? Just go find sex then. Right? And then, but if you're not, then what? Don't complain about all the experiences you're having. Right. Okay. What if the experiences are bad then? If the experiences are bad, the experiences are bad in those experiences. You can't apply your bad experiences with everyone else that you have never even had an experience with. Okay. So then if you, if you can't apply those experiences... With everyone else, with everyone else, you're gonna have an experience with. So, why is it that a lot of, um, let's say, in this time, maybe say people when they're going to relationships, they carry the points. So, what are you gonna tell them when they, whenever they carry something they've experienced or whatever, and then they transfer it to the next relationship, or to the next engagement, to the next something? What are you gonna say about it's that? It's the same thing. Why? Because the thing is, like, you can use your experiences mm-hmm. to guide you. Mm-hmm. You can't use them to show you the way. So if you if you've had bad experiences with girls, that gives you warnings. Mm-hmm. It doesn't give you the right to judge someone else you've never had an experience valid, with. Valid, valid. That's all I'm saying. All right. No, no, you're, it's, it's valid. That's it's not valid. how it works. Unfortunately, that's not but how it works. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, but that's no, 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 no. See, that's what, what ought to do. be is not what yeah, is. That's yeah, not what people do. It never is. But, but what we're right. having this conversation for is yeah. to try and be as close to perfection as we can. Every day we're trying to be better. Are we not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah why are we then yeah. going to ha- encourage a conversation where we're just going to keep talking about girls are trash? Because when girls do it to us, we don't like it. Who said that? You said it? You say it? what? I, I just say that. Do you say that girls are trash or what? No, he's just talking about no. But general. like when we when we say things and apply things to girls, we insinuate certain <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> we insinuate certain yeah, things. Yeah, so yeah. like, all I'm saying is that like we can't have these conversations where we're just perpetuating a narrative that doesn't really exist. Well, it's not that it doesn't exist. So all girls are trash? No, I'm saying it's not that it doesn't exist. What I'm no, no, saying. but no, I'm saying the yeah. the the narrative of all girls are trash. Or girls in none, general, none, are, none, none, none of that, none of that really exists. But why? Yeah, that's, that's my point. Yeah, but but, but whatever. What, when people are talking about the experience or whatever, everybody's com- everybody's commenting or giving their personal perspective on the experiences they've ever gone through, or what they're observing and what it is. A lot of people sometimes don't even go through stuff, but they just observe from a distance, right? Be it friendships, whatever. That's especially when you see when girls are using analogies to explain a lot of things. They say, "Oh, I've got friends." Who going through this? She's not going through it. Yeah. But she's just she's been around this space where she's she's absorbing all this energy, all this all this information or whatever it is, and it just it, it naturally sometimes affects people's perspe- perspective themselves. Yeah. So they even project their projections on all of these things towards other people or to the environments they're going on. Yeah. Not basing on the fact that they've gone through it, but it's what they they're taking in. So when it comes back to the point, it's just to say like, there's some things we can't avoid though, 100 percent, right? Yeah. Are we gonna talk about them? But we also got to ask ourselves a question. It's like, yo, why, why are Mandem saying the girls are trash? Have we talked about that? 
Now, you know, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, but how, you, you how, know what I mean? I must yeah. say, all these doors have to open if you want to shed out that light. Like, so why am I them saying girls are trash? Not just saying that we shouldn't say it. Or man, should not be saying it. Why? Because every everyone has a reason for saying something. Yeah, but a lot of guys do not give the reasons. A hundred percent for a reason. So when when you when you, yeah, but it's not for like the reason is because either you're insecure about saying the reason, or you don't want to say the reason to perpetuate a narrative that doesn't exist. <laughs> Or you're doing it in a vindictive way. Or you don't want to or get you're doing it out of you know? Or you're doing it, bro, I, I, I don't care. If a, if, a girl, if a girl has done me wrong, I'm going to say it because yeah. that'll help someone else not get into that same pot. Not true. That's that's what needs to happen. Yeah. Because it's, 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 it's the same, now, like, when, when girls are doing this whole men are trash, men are trash, what the hell, what, how am I, I trash because of your shit experience? That's your business, bro. True, true. You only want picking that. shit guys. That's not my business. I agree with that. Yeah. Because it's the same when people are assuming things of you guys. Do you like people assuming things of you guys? And literally just based on the assumption. If she came to you and she explained to you why she assumed things of you, are you not more inclined to have that conversation and 100%. tell her that you're different? 100%. But if she just comes and just assumes you're a dickhead, are you gonna, are you actually going to entertain that girl? No, for very, for very many reasons you're not going to entertain that. First of all, number one, the first thing that's going to come up your head is this guy's fucking bunkers, fam, in the head. <laughs> It should work exactly. In, it should work in, in the head because why is she just saying, why is she just absorbing all this information like that? Like she hasn't even checked it, fam. You get me? So we're picking up from the dark spin and we're just putting in there. They just come in and hitting me with it. No, exactly. fuck that. Yeah, but that's hundred percent. But that's the thing is, what I say is this. I knew. I know you lot can agree. Is that we we are in such a critical stage in life currently where we we are not able to have certain conversations and truthfully, you know, because so most of the times. We fear backlash. Yeah. And that's that's and that's a hundred percent of it. It's not we don't we don't fear to speak nothing. It's just we we, we just don't want to speak shit and then you know she's just gonna come up on us like that, you know, like well, what's going on. But that's the problem we are. Everybody's just trying to make you shut the fuck up. And we're also living in the same place, in the same experience, in the same place where like everyone thinks their opinion is valid. But there's a lot of stupid people speaking a lot of stupid shit. Yeah, we know. And we got, like, we got to acknowledge that. Yeah. But you know, the point is, but these two people are never checked, fam. Because you know what? The internet give them, gives them license to speak whatever nonsense is speaking. And then at the end of the day, you're going to have people barking up these people like, yo, yo, yeah, go, girl. Yeah, man, them go this, go that. But, but what are you speaking is rubbish. <laughs> you get me? We're afraid, you know what I mean? But we can't, we can't be afraid to, to not speak on it. You know what I mean? But that's where we're living in right now, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, you're spitting, bro. You're spitting. You're spitting, gang. Bro, no, bro, bro, you gotta hit them with it. Bro, we, can, we, we, can't, we, can't be, we can't be raising ourselves to just be stupid and then just going on with life, thinking that bro, everything is all right. It's not all right, fam. You get me? The conversation we need to be had, we need to hear from some shit. We yeah. need to talk about some shit to go forward in the future, especially when it comes to relationships between man and girl. It's, very, it's, it's right now, it's a, it's a sticky situation. 100%. But guys don't want to hear it. Man don't want to hear it. You know, everything is offensive right now. Yeah, like, yeah. your cuz, then what can I not tell you? Bro, everyone's doing, oh, don't speak in my situation because you're not me. How, bro, that's bullshit. Hell, that's bunkers, bro. How the hell are we going to... No, you got a rum in the head if you think like that, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not me, then what? Like, you have no opinion? That's what you're trying to say? You're going to silence because what, your opinion is, is, much, is greater than mine or what? Yeah. yeah. Everyone goes through a certain experience, right? It's like you saying, like, yo, um, I went through this heartbreak, but you've never been there. But no one said that you've never gone through heartbreak in your life. You don't have to be a girl. How big can be anything? It can be you fucking over. It can be something something happening. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's going to happen anyway. But you know what I'm just saying? You know, we, that kind of shit. You know what I mean? But oh, everybody wants to validate their own experience and make you look at the grand days of, 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 of the entire human existence. Yeah, yeah. But that ain't it. I don't want your thoughts, what your thoughts on that. But yeah, no, that's... Um, I think as long as you're not generalizing, I think, you know, I think that's where there's that line where people have an issue when you're like oh like don't talk about my experience because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you haven't experienced it mm-hmm. and then you'll now go like it's kind of what we've been talking about you'll go and now generalize or you'll talk about something in in a, on a larger scale mm-hmm. right as opposed to you know that specific space mm-hmm. or that specific situation so i think obviously i me i also agree i think it's stupid to say oh if i'm not you then i can't speak on certain things like that yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. obviously um I feel like if you're obviously speaking on something, you should have some sort of knowledge yeah. or some sort of experience or you've, you've observed certain things and now say it, yeah. right? But at the same time, I think that's where it comes from where people are like, oh, like, don't, you, like, you can't speak for me because you have an experience or now you're, as long as you're not generalizing, then I think it's fine. Like, you should be able to speak on something. speak for people? I think so. <laughs> and why? 
I think so because sometimes someone you're not in their shoes you don't know how they feel you don't know I, I don't know how they feel but part of what I could say could be true for their experience why if they're not expressing then what then it's not your business yeah but we said that, 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 that means like what so we, we should okay, so, okay, so, okay, the, the reason insert yourself into no it's not the, 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 the reason the reason I said I think so is for instances where mm-hmm. this benefits the majority okay so by you not saying anything does not help Everyone, everyone. yeah, it's like if, we're if it's if it's a conversation, we're not. Yeah, if it's a like, point where I'm just speaking on your experience, yeah. based on you and yeah. your life, yeah, that's a different scenario. Yeah, we're not talking about that. that. We're talking yeah. about. But if it's something that what you're doing is affecting everyone else, right, right, and if you're not going to talk about it, it needs to be talked about. Yeah, okay. So like, even like, even example. like my 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 whole thing that's going on right now. This is a topic that everyone tried to speak of just because. Some people don't want to speak of it. Mm. Should I? But now that I've spoken about it, there are people that are saying, "Oh, I felt this way." Mm. There are people that are saying, "Oh, I've seen people do this." Okay, and then so if somebody's doing something that's clearly affecting a group. So, how would you speak for them? How would you go about that? I need like an example. Say if they were um, causing problems in the group because they were being very mean. So how would I speak for who? How would you speak for that person? Because you said you, you think it's okay to speak for them. And you said in a scenario where they're being detrimental to their group or their community. I would just explain what you're doing. Because wouldn't you just uh, ask them like, hey, what's going on? And try and have a conversation from there. That's speaking for them too. Asking them what's going on? Yeah, because... Um, you're that's assuming speaking things. For them. No, 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 no. Look at it this way when I say that, right? Okay. I said that's speaking for them in the sense like, you, you, you give enough shits to care... But pulling up to this person, right? And checking out the situation is at, right? So these whatever this person is doing, whatever they're projecting, they they may not be even seeing what they're doing okay. to the people around them. But you pulling up and checking on the situation and getting to know the, the, the baseline of what's going on. Or or, or, the, or, 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 or you know, where the the, the the floor, you know, the subfloor, what's happening, right? You can be able to now go and translate what 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 it is that you think that is going on to the people around because the people around may not be saying nothing right but they'll be feeling the same type of way and then from that you can pu- pull up some level of conversation in there and uncover the hidden type of things the hidden things that are going on the hidden like you know what yeah, yeah. the, the underlinings of what's going on in there. and then you're speaking for them in that sense now you end up tackling an issue that you most probably wouldn't have tackled if you didn't do the initial step of what you're doing. That's why I mean speaking for them in that, in that kind of sense. My definition of speaking for yeah. someone is telling someone how they feel mm. and how they're acting and why they're acting that way. Mm-hmm. That's what my definition of speaking for someone. And I don't believe you should ever do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but that, I guess that's you have a different sense of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, no, for in, me, in, for me sense, in that sense, you know? In my sense, the only time I <coughs> speak for someone if, if, is, is if it's something that can apply it to more than just you. Yeah. Yep. Because as you said, I can never speak on how someone feels. Yeah. But I can speak on an action that is can replicated the, in my the, life. The, the, yeah. And replicated by other people. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So in the example where if someone is bullying another person, mm-hmm. and I put a mirror up to you and say what you're doing is bullying, mm-hmm. you can't tell me that I'm like me speaking for you and telling you your actions. Yeah. Is not something that I can speak about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, for example, see, in my, in my me, situation, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see that as speaking for someone. I would see that as calling someone out. Mm-hmm. But I guess that's that's that's, that's exactly different. it. Because in my situation, what's going on right now? I've called a certain group of people out, and there's some that doesn't apply to you. Mm-hmm. There's some that are also projecting, mm-hmm. and then there's some that understand exactly what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The ones that understand exactly what I'm saying, they're not saying anything because they know it applies to them. Right. The ones that are projecting are now trying to make sure that I'm shut down so that no one else sees their actions as wrong. Mm-hmm. And then the ones that doesn't apply to you are aggrieved. They're like, this doesn't apply to me. Why are you now applying it to me? Whereas mm-hmm. what I'm saying, does not. if it doesn't apply to you, it's not you I'm talking to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you need to remove yourself from a situation. No, that's true. Because we, you, sometimes you get extra sensitive for stuff that's not even applied to yourself. You know what I mean? Like it's the same, like you, you might be speaking about something Right, in a general sense of things, yeah. But the way you're delivering your message is that it is it, it, it should not even be so direct to be so so particular. Yeah. You know what I mean? But people are too sensitive these days that everybody wants to be a part of something. You want to be a part of something. You want to make everything a part of you. You yeah. know what I mean? But what you said is very important, and it's a big thing about maturity. You know, 
Sometimes when things don't involve us, you gotta move yourself around, move yourself from that shit. But a lot, a lot of us today don't do that. You want, we want to make everything you know something about us, though. But I guess it's a little bit kind of, kind of delving into some kind of some narcissistic kind of nature kind of thing that we're going through. Like everybody wants to be, you know, relevant. Yeah, so that it's, makes some people relevant. Is you know? the same? Speaking about same something thing. doesn't even involve you. That make you make some people relevant. They feel they feel you feel they feel they can get something with that. So, you know what I mean? It's the same when when girls are chatting shit about short guys. Ugh, bro, I'm not here being pressed. If you're telling me that all oh, short guys never have money, yeah, so that be doesn't it, apply bro. to me. So be it. <laughs> if if girls yeah. are saying all oh, light skins yeah. cheat, it so, doesn't apply to you. So be it. Do, Even if it did. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, you're not light skinned, right? You're not light skinned no more, are you? I'm light skinned. Oh, yeah? Light skin is half white. Since when? <laughs> light skinned is half white. No, light skinned is what I am. Okay, light so. Light skin is half white. Oh, so, but since when were you light skinned? Since my skin was light. <laughs> You've been saying you're light skinned this whole time. <laughs> You've been saying you're light skinned this whole time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Roll the clip, nigga. Yeah. Roll the clip. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the clip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas trying to get me. That's how they get me. Bro, I don't even equip myself. I can pull it out. There's you plenty of them. Got, nigga. Nah, you've been got, nigga. Roll the clip. Roll the clips. Been Sorry, been roll the clips. The plural. <laughs> roll the clips. No, but I don't know, then there's some people that just can't. Some people that just can't keep their mouth shut. But well, there's plenty of those, bro. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of those. They exposing exposing niggas for free, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Life, man. Now it's time for day. it's time I'm for Sheree ass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. this this question is gonna sound, it might sound stupid. Uh, this guy's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound stupid to you, but let's let's I'll explain a little bit. Mm. If you guys need explanation, would you rather break up? Would you rather break up um, on bad terms, or would you rather break up on good terms? Good terms. Bad good terms. Good bad terms. terms? Good terms. Okay, so so we do have different oh, answers. Good terms. Okay. I this. Yeah. So go ahead. And oh, why? Yeah. Yeah, oh, why. I feel like I know where Isaac went. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can exp- also explain yeah. why. Like some people actually prefer bad terms. Yeah. Let's say the yeah, guy yeah, that said bad terms first. No. You know, yeah, let, 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 you know, let him go first because that's yeah, what's well, interesting a lot right True. there. And uh, it's easier to get over them. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Strong. Simple as that. In terms of so, how, so they say. In terms of you guys have a hatred for each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to I understand that. Yeah, yeah. Strong. If you're on good terms, you're still friendly. You're, most times, you're still going to be talking, still checking up on each other. If you're still checking up on that person, the chances of you getting over them emotionally yeah. is slim to none. Yeah, you have to have that no contact period. No, no, and no. I'm not. I'm not talking about the no contact. I just mean and you. I'm, but you're I'm breaking up. You end on bad terms. Most times, there's going to be a period of no contact. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. So apply it, no contact to both scenarios. You just one you end up on good terms and one you end up on bad you end on bad terms. I think when you're ending on bad terms you're more likely to avoid them. So even if there's no contact, mm-hmm. like say if you just see them at the mall, you could just pass it by you'll walk the other way. If you're on good terms, you're still gonna have that interaction. And we know how it feels after you've broken up with someone. Nigga, any interaction you have it always gives you some little bit of hope <laughs> that so, some shit's gonna happen. <laughs> Somebody need that, hope, take me, yeah? need that <laughs> hope to fucking die. Yeah. Right. Hope that is shit the biggest seller up right now. And burn. Right. And that's but I know this is what I say. You do what you can handle. That's what I said. Do what you can handle. <laughs> if you can handle good terms, <laughs> it's not gonna people, affect you or fuck people you up. Don't know what they can handle. A lot of people don't. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Do what you feel like you can handle. You know what I mean? If you feel like you can't handle it, bro, break up on bad terms and move on. But I can handle it. I can handle it. So yeah. good terms, bro. I mean, so, I mean some, experience is a learning. Yeah, yeah also, some, like it, right? some there's no control, man. Yeah, some there's no control. Depends on yeah. what's it. Yeah. If, yeah. You're, yeah. if you're with some crazy oh, yeah. bro, Listen, I don't think you're choosing if you end with good terms or bad terms, bro. <laughs> but I, 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 I never you like, you support too for choosing that, for choosing that short, bro. Oh, yeah, look. Bro, she was going to wake, wake you up by slapping you, bro. Like, like, not even alone, bro. She's just slapping the shit out of you, bro. <laughs> because she heard that you were out with Isaac yesterday and you were beautiful, bro. Like, imagine the type of shit, bro. I'm not going to wake up to that, bro. I would be dusted, fam. My own house, my own place, bro. I'm, I will never see the girl again. What about you, bro? Me? Yeah. Um, bad terms. Like, bad terms? It was, the, yeah. Yeah, same reason. Same thing. Yeah. But you're a softie. Where are soft tea? Me? You're no. soft tea, man. I'm a, I'm, I'm your, heart, your heart will can splatter in a thousand pieces, bro. Wow. <laughs> it already did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And like you've never recovered. Yeah. Yeah, the man is still hot in. in yeah. It's a nice aspirin. It doesn't realize. <laughs> bro, bro <laughs> it burns. Nice. It's true. But I'll, I'll, t- but I'll, I'll tell you one Because the thing is, look. Yeah. The thing is, look. I'll rather it be completely severed. Mm-hmm. Done. Than, like, the, the hope. <laughs> 
<laughs> the hope will kill you and yeah, tear you apart. The hope, the hope is what causes the heartbreak to be even worse. Oh yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah. I'd rather it be on. i rather she had that caught her with another man. Yo, Kelvin, be honest. You want to be on good terms so you can still fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let, let, let me say one thing. Let me you say even deny it. No, no, let me say one thing. Wait, no, you can't even just deny it. Let me say one thing. On on one end, that's true. On one end, that's true. Thank right? You. On the other end. When I was talking about the control thing, like actually, honestly, I can handle it. Why? And I, this is why I prefer it. Because I still believe like in every relationship that I'm in, I don't just get into, I, first of all, number one, just don't, I don't just get into relationships, right? And every relationship I get, in, get into, it's not just a relationship just built on fucking love and feelings or whatever, it's just built on something concrete, you know what I mean? So something that has been the concrete and the friendship that we built for at that time, wherever it is, if the time came up to break up, that doesn't mean I gotta save the relationship on my end. You know what? Because that person could still be is still beneficial to me. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's how I look at things. And why? What's the point of having a bad relationship with that person when that's a person I've lived the same experience with and nothing's been bad between that time? The time has come to an end, it's come to an end, that's it. You know why? Because most likely we're in the, the similar friend group, so I'm gonna find her somewhere, she's in close proximity and shit. I'm still gonna have the relationship and be like, yo, everything is good. Why? Because life's still gotta go on anyway. That's 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 just my point of view. Yeah, that's for me. That's that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I can handle it. I can take it. For yeah. me, it doesn't bug me. Yeah, like me yeah. seeing her, right? Seeing her with another nigga, but that shit doesn't bug me. I'm like, I'm good. You know what I mean? But a lot of so there are a lot of man them like, bro, it was skin them alive. But to see the girl them with another man them, yeah. it's like it's just ripping his heart for me. I don't care. Like it's moved on because that's how that's how that's just that's just how that's how just it, it is for me. Yeah. So apart from the first part, though, eh? That's, that's, that's important. It's <laughs> very <Yeah>, important. <laughs> yeah, the holic. Except for the first part. Hey, it's important. You're important. You gotta be smart, you buddy. Huh? You're up, <laughs> yeah. You uh, uh, no, I don't have to answer because I asked the question. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Hey, Sharae right. doesn't ask her. It doesn't answer his own question. Are you okay? Answer. Last yeah, time you answered. Well, you no, I didn't. No, I just explained. Are you okay? How about we give our predictions and then he gives us his answer? Nigga said my predi- our predictions. I'm gonna guess good terms. You're a bucket. <laughs> and we know why, but I won't say. Nigga said we know why. Anyways, you are, for sure, I think I think it's half and half, bro. Half and half. Yeah, I feel I feel like it does it when it benefits him and when it doesn't. Wow, that's so <laughs> insane. I'll just say Shut your ass up. Come go good terms. Shut your ass up. Anyways, just that's what I say. I'm trying to recall. I don't recall any. There's a reason why I'm saying this. There's a reason why I'm saying this. No, I think I have reviewed the podcast too many times. This is my number one pod, bro. No, I need to see everything. So I, I, think, I feel like you know. I, I'm gonna there. beat this up, but I think. So you gonna answer now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the things you can afford to lose and those you can't. Uh bad terms. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Bad terms, just cause like as I'm currently constructed, I'm not gonna lie to you. you like, know you don't get the fuck, right? Okay. Hey, listen, you might not point take it. Yeah, the bad terms is just yeah. Cause for me, like, like no, it's not cap. On God, it's not cap. It's the whole like he said, like the whole hope thing, bro. And just like you know. It's like the, the, the good terms is like the, for me, it's like the what if and like you're still thinking, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not fucking with that. Well, I feel with, like you have two I sides think too much. Why do I have two sides? Why did I say? No, 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 as in like, <laughs> what did I say? Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Everyone nah, I can't like, got you. I feel like there's, there's stages. Unless, unless it's a thing where there's one side and then the other. Rather than being at the coexisting, same time? yeah. All right, please, please because elaborate. I feel like there's two sides. To you. There's the side where you are sensitive, yeah, and, yeah. and it is on bad terms makes sense. But there's the side where you don't really care too much about babes, and there's for that re- reason, there's a reason why you have good terms because, of, as I said, you don't you don't want anyone to just be in control of your heart, of your heart. Yeah, but, that's the other side. But and that's then, the truth. At the same time. If they're coexisting, mm-hmm. what I'm saying makes sense. If they're mutually what, exclusive, what after, then yeah, 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 that's a different you, conversation. Yeah. But I think sometimes that happens. I told you, I can read people, bro. I think that's, <laughs> there's, there's even what I said that's why it is, where I say use the word beneficial. I say beneficial for some sense. Is that I feel like sometimes that you can choose when you know how it's going to affect you. Or in the, how you're current to construct in the moment in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel I believe it. Yeah, like you, if you're current to construct in the moment in time, it's like, I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a hit on good songs, you know. What I mean? <laughs> but you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, he's cool. But like, if like, nah, it ain't alright. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not alright. Nah, fuck that. I got fuck skip. It. Yeah, I got skip. That's, I got, that's what it is. Yeah. It's not like Isaac do. Yeah, Isaac is dangerous, man. Them. All right, closure or no closure? Closure. Peace, bro. Yeah. Why would I not want closure unless I'm trying to get back with you? What? Closure or no closure? Closure. Wait, 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 wait what did he say? He like, said, why would he not want closure? Wait, why would you not want closure, right? Yeah, why would I not want closure? No closure can kill Unless you, you want to get back with her? Yes. So if, if you, you don't have one closure, there's unresolved feelings. Yes. Yeah. So if you didn't want, if you wanted to get back with her, you don't want closure. Nigga, no, just because you have closure doesn't mean your feelings aren't unresolved. Yeah, no, but those yeah. are two mm-hmm. mutually. Those can be mutually exclusive. It's not about it's not, it's not about resolving the feelings. It's about the transition period. You can be able to to transition, transition out of it. Out of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what yeah. with closure. You can transition out of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's yeah. Something yeah. Closure. Closure. yeah. But, that, but no, we, no, we, I, I was confused by oh. when you said unless we're getting back together. Because if you're getting back together, you're saying that you don't want closure. If wait, <laughs> sorry. Because you said I want closure unless we're getting back together. No, 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 no. I'm saying I. Why wouldn't I? Want why would it, Why wouldn't he want closure? Unless I'm trying to get back, back to her, yeah. So, so I'm saying if I didn't have closure, most likely I would want, want to get okay, back together yeah, yeah, with yeah. them because I have unresolved feelings, unresolved questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You want yeah. something to keep him running back? Yeah? <laughs> okay, you know, hey, getting closer to the globe. <laughs> to the <laughs> center of the... <laughs> uh, I, always want I always need to know what's happening. Hmm. So I need closure. Well, 100%. But let me tell you something, bro. Right? No closure shit can fuck you up, bro. Oh, for sure. No closure it thing. Fuck yeah. you up. Hundred percent. Doesn't yeah. matter who you are, dog. It can fuck you up. But I'm telling you, yo, my, my, I, I just give you that like, little story. My cousin got beat seriously by that shit, bro. That bro, this is the thing. This is a funny story, isn't it? <laughs> but not that funny. So my boy, my cousin, right? He had, he had his best friend. His best friend for like 15 years. Bro, imagine one five, bro. 15. So this dog one day, like he's he had this Jamaican girlfriend. You know, beautiful girl, whatever it is. But one day. Bro, the show is chill on him with his best friend, man. Hey. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. But <laughs> 15 years. Bro. Best friend. Best friend for 15 years, bro. Like, bro, like, what question you know what he before, became? Yeah. His even bester friend after that. Because <laughs> he showed you that that girl is not the one for you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> if you're beefing your nigga over your nigga <laughs> fucking your bitch. Bro, I won't say never beef your nigga. Never beef your nigga, bro. You're sick in the head for that. You know, I said never beef a nigga, bro. Why the fuck would you? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Do you want to say never beef a nigga? Are you saying beef him instead of the girl? I'm saying yes. never beef a nigga instead beef of the girl. Instead of the girl. Now I'm beefing both of them. No, bro. For what? <laughs> I'm not beefing for what? a nigga. You for what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You want to hear my angle? You want to hear my angle? Let me just use my angle, right? Yeah. No, no. Carry on your story because my question was gonna be this. Don't worry. My question was gonna be was gonna be this. But yeah, carry on your story. You the story, right? Yeah, yeah. Carry on your story. Yeah. So my cousin's like, bro. After 15 years, this, then he finds out, bro. When I say, bro, like, they didn't even talk. The guy left with him, under him. started a whole different relationship. Yo, my, my cousin went bunkers in the head, bro. For two years, bro. Damn, two years is a long time, bro. <laughs> two years, like, broski, my cousin left the US, went to Geneva. We don't even know how the fuck he got there. <laughs> he left, went, left Geneva, we never saw him for like two years, bro. We're going, after, we're going back after two years, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's women, eh? When you said fear, women, I tell you, fear women, bro. Because yeah. they can do that, bro. That's so insane. Okay. It's mad. So- <laughs> it's mad, bro. These shorties be doing it to niggas, bro. Yeah, they, they be doing really it. doing it to niggas. And they be walking. It be the most do, wild do shit, too. Do you know, the funny thing is, when, when they do it, they make it seem as like they were the reasons why they did I'm, it. Ah, bro. bro. There's a reason why. Because women take... Accountability less. Nigga, they have a lack of, of accountability. They have a lack of accountability. <laughs> they in fact, they never take accountability majority Ooh. of the time. Ooh. They Ooh. never do. <laughs> they never do. It's a heavy <laughs> statement. No, it's a heavy statement, and I will stand by it. You know, whatever. It's a heavy statement. I'll stand by it. Why? Because we can analyze the situation very critically. Monday we're born with value. We spend our whole time. I know women are born with value. Monday we're born without value. We spend our whole time building value. Right? So there's a lot of things that we gotta take care of ourselves. Oh, to build up who we are. Right, we gotta go through hardships, failures, judgments, all this. Not from just our own man, them, but from ladies of world society. We gotta crush, get crushed under pressure to turn into some diamonds. But if we don't, society's gonna look down on us. Who, men, women, children, whatever this is. You know, we never that. But women are born with value. 
So their only thing is to preserve that value, right? So they don't have so many scenarios in life where they, they you know, they got to take too much accountability for the stuff they do because we take care of them sometimes, but you know, they're independent. That's hundred percent. We know that we, we, we take that one. That's they're independent. now. That's now, but it wasn't, the, it wasn't the nature before, yeah. right? When they're doing things, even right now, what happens is that their accountability is being called upon. That's why they're speaking more, right? Because they want to do things with the element of no consequence or the little to no consequence, right? And it's not the norm of today or whatever. It's never, never really been the norm in a kind of sense, right? So it's a lot of a picture behind that. You're smiling because they're. Doesn't like if I say, if I speak now, I'm going to get cancer again. Yo, <laughs> He's like, yo. I agree with everything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm with that's not saying that. Yo, look, that's not saying that. Yo, that's not saying shit this time. You just don't smile. There's nothing. There's no one can silence me. I don't care. No one can silence me. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no one can silence me. I don't care. No one can silence me. Yeah, but you're resonating what I'm saying. Oh, you know. I know what he's saying. You're right. I don't see. I don't need to. I don't need to speak that more often. You know what I mean? You're saying. You're saying. You're saying. Nobody's a hundred percent. That's what it is, <laughs> man. This is what it is, but they don't have scenarios of the time to come to check them on what they have to do. But if Isaac does not pick himself up from whatever the fuck he does, right? Isaac is never gonna become the man that he needs to be, fam. If he doesn't go to work, go to gym, nothing. Doc is not gonna look Isaac and be like, "That's the dog I wanna be with." That's the first criticism. You gotta walk strong among men. Before anybody else looks after, you, looks at you, you gotta walk. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. If you're not stew, if you're not down on your fucking feet, if your chest is not up, you're not making no bread, you're not making no nothing, you're making nothing about yourself, bro. Shawnee Calvin ain't gonna be running with no fucking doctor fam. You get me? He's gonna be at the back seat. But it's not because we're looking down on him. He just ain't there with us yet. You know what I mean? But girls gonna have to do that, bro. All she gotta go, bro, is look pretty, and she's gonna end up at the yap. <laughs> but I gotta spend 20, 10, 20 years to walk for the fucking yeah. yap, bro. <laughs> She never spent a single day, but she spent five dollar Uber to get that, bro. <laughs> five dollar Uber, big time thing, bro. Ooh. But I can't spend what one point five mil, yeah. Yeah. five million yeah. dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Twenty years of fucking slaving, yeah. fam. But that's what it is. But yeah. if we don't speak about it, they'll knock you at the door, bro. That's it. I've hit a home run, bro. They gotta get it. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying. saying. I can't lie. I'm just my, saying. My, my boy's nah. fitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy you're saying this because I was literally having a conversation with my brother yesterday. That's it, man. And he, I mean, sorry, today, literally today. And he was like, um, the girls his age don't want him. They want guys that are a little bit older. Yeah. For even reason. Though he's, even though he's only 18. For a reason. Nigga. So the girls, the girls, his, and it's crazy because I was thinking about it. Even in that space he's talking about, it's still in stages, right? It's in stages. So bro. for example, right? He was like, oh, if. And obviously, doesn't this doesn't equate to all girls? Obviously, one hundred percent. Can date girls his age, yeah, yeah, right? True, true, true. But he was like, a lot of the girls his age don't want guys his age. age. They want guys a little bit older. older. My age, 21, 22. There's a reason. Twenty three, right? Dreads, right? Established. Bro. So, 19, 18, 19. What do you mean? I thought we were talking about accountability. Yeah, yeah, but he was he was, <laughs> he was talking about like um like you have to you have to build value and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm 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 I'm. Uh, he's adding one. Like, he's yeah, I'm com- yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. Like you have to, in essence, the reason why the girls his age, right, want guys that are a little bit older is because those guys that are a little bit older are more established. Mm -hmm. They're quote unquote more mature. They've now built themselves up in a little bit. It's the same thing how we were talking about the Toronto trip, right? Guys, the girls my age, they're looking at the niggas (laughs) that are a little bit older than me, 27, 28. They have, you know, they have the cars, they have the nice job, they're making a lot more money. So even in that same space, I was like, I told my brother, I'm said, I'm still you in a sense. In I'm a just sense, in a I'm different you, stage. I'm just yeah. different stage, different level. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, just saying. I'm still you. I'm just in a different stage. Incoming in truth. Yeah. So crazy, bro. Women don't. Do you, be, get, do you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah. 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 Incoming in truth. Women, women don't. Be, they move in, bro. You, you try to check a girl on something. Her first response is instead of yeah. admitting that she does it or understanding that she does it. Defensive. The first thing she does is, well, guys do it too. Too. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why. And you, and you know what's funny? She can say that and shut the fuck up like she's won the argument, but she said bullshit. That's Women are the only point, people bro. in the world who are allowed to run away with nonsense. <laughs> because, you know, they can shut, the, they can shut down the, the conversation just right there and then, right? And then they pull up a card. Not saying they all do it, but they do it for a reason because they know what it is. They, they know the power they got. They, they got the power. They know what they got. Because they got the power to crucify a guy. They can crucify a nigga any day they wanted to. Yeah, they have the power, and we and we know that too. That's why you see a lot of guys afraid to talk on nothing because they don't want to get crucified for a reason. But how many guys gang up together into someone's comments to defend guys? They don't because there's a reason. Because remember, women walk in packs, bro. <laughs> you didn't defend me. <laughs> <laughs> what in your with your burner cast? I didn't see that. <laughs> no, but I did. No, but, but he did defend me in a way. Two bro. of them. 
No, he did, he did, he did. But he I, I'll tell you why. On, on the pod, he did. On the pod, he did. Yeah, yeah. he did, he did. And he, and he did in a nice way, though. Yeah. But, but, but by starting the conversation where he started, yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was the way of defending you. Understand. Big ups. Understand. Big uh, ups, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, welcome this, to another special episode. Take <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another special yeah. episode. I'm your host DX. Straight up in the building. Keyshawn. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> we got a <laughs> special never, guest never in the building. Hey, yeah, right. It's big man, Calvin. Introduce big C. yourself. What else do you do? Yeah, listen. They call me my motherfucking thug neighbor, <laughs> aka Calvin, <laughs> aka Top G. We out in this business. Hey, I'm just joking about it. I am Top G, baby. I ain't, I ain't joking about nothing. But I was saying, you know, that's what they call me, you know. I work for I work for Shore. So what is this? I'm Isaac's trainer. Security? Yeah, yeah, Shore Security. I'm Isaac's trainer, you know, I train him down at the field. You know, yeah, I clean Doc's shoes, yeah, you know, as if you know that kind of shit, bro. But you know, we up here, we up here, you know, we do good things out here. Yeah. Just saying. Thank you for having me, boys. I'm dead, well, at least you see, you heard us say a lot. Come on. But yeah, take all the pictures, so remember the black and the berry. Sweet of the juice. No god. Oh, baby. Um, what do you think of uh, what's his name again? Leonardo DiCaprio situation. What's going He's on? With dating him? Exactly? I was, yeah, I was having dating this conversation with Shader. Mm. Yeah, I was having this conversation with Shader, and this is something that requires a lot of um, one, an open mind, and a lot of understanding. Mm-hmm. I was explaining to her that firstly, this conversation we as normal people cannot speak on this conversation Mm -hmm. there's no amount of experience or knowledge that we have to understand how hollywood works Mm -hmm. first can i just interject quickly i just want to make a point (coughs) that doxa didn't answer her question with well girls do it too he actually explained it (laughs) take take notes girls take notes girls there you go uh so yeah that's the first thing i said then i Mm. i said now looking at his situation right and looking at this girl is this just any 19 year old and by that i mean look at the majority or the average 19 year old what are they doing mm-hmm. they're in school TikTok. they're literally <laughs> they're literally just starting school starting university right they're just starting life whereas if you look at a 19 year old that's in fame how much life experience do they have compared to the average 19 year old right so in the way i was working it out was that i asked that leonardo DiCaprio at roughly 50 i think he's at 48 would you look at him as strange if he was dating a 30 year old nope all right definitely not eh? so now what makes a 30 year old different a 30 year old not different wait mm-hmm. what makes a 30 year old 30 year old mm-hmm. that makes it acceptable for him to date a 30 year old mm-hmm. she said life experiences mm-hmm. i said what makes your life experiences good question is your accessibility to opportunities in life now the 19 year old that has managed to gain fame and have a lot more accessibility oh, to what life 19? has to offer. Yeah, she's, she's young. Yeah, that's though. the whole point of the conversation. He doesn't. He doesn't date oh, anyone like beyond twenty five. Beyond twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah. It's time to leave. Yeah. Well, majorly he's, he's twenty two and under, but you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I was explaining. So a nineteen year old that has now got to level of fame, that has now has access to a lot that life has to offer. Right. What now makes them different? Apart from just the actual number of age, what makes them different from a thirty year old? Nothing. Yeah now that is where we as normal people cannot speak on these situations Mm -hmm. so that's why i said i wasn't saying i was accepting i was just i was trying to tell her when i think of that situation this is why i have no opinion cannot speak of that situation only unless only if you understand the parameters of how of how the establishment works yeah but yeah what what, what were your first thoughts when you Sure. You hear because yeah. obviously it's a, it's a concurrent topic every day we're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio and young yeah. girls. But what, what do you think of that scenario? What do I think of the scenario? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a reason why he does. There's obviously a reason. Yeah. As to why he dates younger women. Fresh. Um, aside from. Fre- <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm not him, so I don't know. Maybe aside from that, there's like you said. Maybe there's, um, you know, obviously being with women that are. Um, young women who are in the same 
bracket as him, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Um, I don't really have, like, I saw it. I did see it. I was like, oh, he's dating some 19-year-old, and he's, like, 45 or something like that. He's in his 40s. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, it was just like, okay, that's just what, the, that's just, that's just him. <laughs> like, I didn't really think anything of it, to be honest. <clears throat> in in our scenario, what's the youngest that causes a problem? In <laughs> our scenario now? Same my, like, with my age as of yeah. right now. Yeah. 18. But it's 18, bro. For you too. Listen, do, do you know what you said for you too? Bro, you no, 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 I'm asking. <laughs> but but that's the youngest you would go? Well, for me, for me, for me, yeah, bro, 18, I can go, but there's a reason why. Yeah, yeah explain. But, what, but this is what I want to say. Why, is, why, do they, why do they say that the, the other age is 18 and you all got a problem with it? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I'm mean, not an 18 year old and I don't have a problem with that. I'm just following the law. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not, not, not below 18. I'm saying 18 is the is, is the end of the oh, adult. Why do yeah. we, like, why, are you asking why do we think they made 18 the legal age? Well, yeah. Why, let's say, well, no, why, why is it that if 18 is the legal age, this, mm-hmm. this is my question, yeah. why do they have a problem with it? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're yeah. talking about yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking like, get out there on the whole world and like, what the, the child mad shit. <laughs> they all know this shit. I'm, I'm get dying to get to 18 for what? So I can get buckled, have experience, travel, all this type of shit, right? Mm. So if you know that 18 is the other age, eh, why are you having a problem with it? There's a reason why. Because most of the shit don't serve you. All the girls are feeling less, you know, less appreciated. So they're chatting. Yep. Why is he why is he going for gather whatever? It's true, like you girl, you're twenty five, you don't look like the same when you're nineteen, fam. I don't care how much like, fillers you put in there. Say it. Yo, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. What the you're what, what the woman is like, say it. Bro, it's that milk fam, and that's what it is, bro. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what the hell is that? All women. All women age like milk. All women like, age like milk. milk. All women yeah, age like milk. Yeah, all men, men age bro. like fine wine. It's been known this. It's been known this, bro. It's all been, men? Yeah. Bro, this is the thing. Not all men age like No, 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 listen. <laughs> listen, when we talk about fine wine, let's not let's not go to specifics that you know, there are other guys who look better than other guys. But like a majority of that, bro, nobody just looks their eyes at, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Man, this, 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 this is a handsome man, man. Not anybody look like him, but you know, there's, you know, there's man them like ducks, and you know, they be struggling and trying, but you know, that's what it is, you know. Then there's some guys like me and Sean in the middle, you know. <laughs> Yo, I'm not <laughs> Yo, he them ugly niggas for the win, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess what? Yeah, I guess what? Shit, yeah. I guess what? Every day we don't give a fuck. <clears throat> As much as we don't care. You know why we don't care, bro? For real. Because our value is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Ugly niggas. Because what? You think I'm running around this street asking God to call me handsome and beautiful? Are you mad? I'll buck you from. I don't want to be called that. <laughs> I'm like, the only thing I want is that you respect me. That's good. Leave it there. I don't even need you to love me, whatever, all this kind of nonsense, whatever it is. There's a lot of fake love out in the streets, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm saying, but you know, if you respect, you respect me, that's what we look for. We don't care about that because at the end of the day, my, jo- my looks ain't going to take me as far. Yeah, 100%. They're going to take me as far. Mm. But do you want a girl who can do for her? Can turn her into a global fucking princess and queen right now, bro. She can leave here, go to Dubai, and become the fucking... But you study back with her at fucking... My fucking Marseille fan. You know what I mean? Just out here, bro. She's the same girl who she was in Naka for high school, bro. She Wait, just... okay, how did you get here? What the fuck is it? I'm saying. Hey, hey. I'm saying. No, I'm saying. No, it's the same girl, bro. It's the same girl. No, what's what I'm saying? Yo, we're, we're talking about that the, 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 you know, that couple is, yeah, yeah he's, oh, you know, right? okay. Yeah. What I'm saying is, it, she's 19, going back to, you know, the aging like milkshake. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back there. First of all, women have to be comfortable and understand the fact that you don't age the same. It's not offensive to be 30 when you're 30. When, when you go, when you turn 30, don't say you're 19. There's, you're already projecting some sort of insecurity about how the way you look. So, so, sure. You I know? feel like, I feel like you might be confused and you might have thought we were speaking in the literal sense that women 
actually age like worse. Yeah, they know. What we're actually trying to get at is <coughs> what guys value is different. Yes, yes, yes what guys, guys value is different. The way a girl looks yes. and what girl's value is. It's what, what a guy has. Yeah, 100%. Has. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So as you age, nigga, you're not going to look as good as yeah, you yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. young. Yeah. So we're saying your values. Your value go. Your sexual well, market values go. It's not literally saying that they look worse than men. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying they look worse than men or whatever. That's funny because how it when you compare how many guys talk about um like older women mm-hmm. in like a, an attractive manner compared to how girls talk about older guys like they'll call the whole daddy zaddy yeah this is the, gran- the granddad's <laughs> you get what i'm saying well, let's like, be honest when niggas talk about fucking older bitches most times the oldest girl goes like bro, a trophy it's like 30 that's the oldest girl go. anything older than that is you don't really hear too much of it yeah, but but even if you even if you go back and talk about that, yeah, even you talk about girls who are older, yeah, That's the reason why you're talking about it's just it's just trophy business, bro. You're just <laughs> adding accolades, fam. You're like, yo, shit, I'm back to what 40, 40, 40 year old? Yeah. God damn, put yeah, a trophy. Nigga, I'm okay, bro. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I'm good with that. I'm by what thirty nine is a trophy in the deck. You know why? Because man, them that's what that's what puts her out there. You get me? You know, <laughs> you you let me tell you something. You can look at a guy. Tell me, boys, if I'm lying, right? You can look at a guy. And know this guy does some shit by looking at the guy. What does he do some shit? This guy get girls. He's about his business. Oh, about yeah, whatever. Yeah. You can look at guy. I know this guy's about that. Mm-hmm. And then you can look at another guy. I know this guy ain't getting nothing in his life. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some that at least is there. No, I know. But what I'm saying is that just uh, the majority. That's the yeah. imprint. Yeah. That's the imprint that shows someone the, the, the man knows whatever. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Yeah, women no, sense it. Wow. Yeah, they, the women. The women they know. They sense it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a girl can look at you and be like, yo, this boy. They have because they have the eye for that. You know what I mean? They're like, yo, shit, this boy, he's about that. Yeah, but do, do you think do you think that because um <clears throat> because of that, this is actually a good question. Because of the fact that with guys we can exude our ability to be able to play in this game at a high level, mm. do you think because of of how easy it is to replicate, a lot of girls get fooled? Yes. Yes, 100%. It's because of what they look for. It's not our fault. We have to do that. If they come in, they come in. It's not our fault. Because yeah. it's what they look for. Bro, this nigga's spitting, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. He's spitting. What do you want me to say? He's spitting. What do you want yeah. me to say? It's not my fault that you get fooled. If I, if, if I splash someone like got Bugatti's and you come looking for me. You came looking for me. You didn't check it. That's yeah. what they're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Bro, the nigga is spitting, bro. If I walk in a certain type of way, I'm wearing bust down watches and whatever, what it is, yeah? You're looking for, you're looking that. for that. You're coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? If my hair is messy, but you see the watch, you're coming. You're coming, yeah. If my hair is tight and clean, I walk in the house and smell good, you're looking for You're coming. Yeah, you're coming. No, my fault. That's why. I'm, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing the attraction. Yeah. I caught the fish. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're spitting, bro. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to add. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because, you know, a lot of times, the people want, people want to play the blaming game. Yeah, yeah. That like, oh, are you fooling us? But listen, you we have never talked about you fooling yourself. Where's your accountability? Let's go back to that. That's what as I was talking about. Where's your accountability? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like it, it, even t- the the conversation we had before with my brother, same thing. It's kind of funny because a lot a lot of times these girls are actually looking for older guys. They are looking for older guys. They're not dating guys their age. They're looking for guys that are a little bit older, a little bit more established. They have a car. A they have. A, they're making a certain amount of money. Yeah. Etc. 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 What did you say earlier? Like, I don't know if you heard it. I said women don't build, they move in. Like Doc says, literally the so, conversation you know, she's, we're having this guy's with really Shader. coming for them today. Yeah. Huh? Literally the conversation we're having with Shader when she was saying men are trash. I'm like, yeah. nigga, you're going for the men the tra- that are trash. trash you're known yeah. for being trash. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you're complaining about them. It's like you have to take a sense of accountability and understand, okay, what am I doing wrong? wrong. Why am I going for these guys that are known for doing these types of things? And the this funny thing, sense. when we mention about the reason why guys don't really talk about girls being trash as much is also because there's the sense of accountability. A lot yes, of guys are afraid to say things that they can't actually be held for accountable mm-hmm. for. So like if all my friends warned me saying, "Oh, this girl's crazy," do you think I'm gonna be complaining? Oh, this girl's so crazy, nigga. You warned me. Yeah, I understand. That's my accountability <laughs> kicking in. But no, but no, you go warn her. You see, she'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the first jet out there because they want experience. They want to taste something, bro. And that's the thing. If you call that out, you're the bad guy. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter if you fly in five, twenty, fucking uh, thirty days, whatever. You still win. 
They told you, like, bro, the red flags. Yeah? But you ignore the red flags, baby. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want, bro. And that's where also the elusive guys come from. Yeah. yeah. Because those, the elusive guys know that's what the girls want. That's what want. the girls want. Is that wrong? I Is told, it wrong? I, I told you. Is it wrong that they're being elusive? Yeah. People I can't bl- I can't blame the guy, man. Morally, I can't blame them, if they that makes sense. That's, it's a society we live in. Yeah. But everyone's trying society, to be that one that, that guy. Uh-huh. There you go. And if they if the guys also understand that's what the women want, they're gonna try to fit that to picture. Them. Right? They're gonna if they can't do it, they fake it till you make it, nigga. Shit. So oh, I can't blame them for it. Yeah. <clears throat> in terms of morally, well, you can yeah, argue morally, that but we can argue can like I, it ain't good. Do I blame that, niggas for yeah, being yeah. elusive? I can't blame niggas for being elusive, man. But if women are acting like that, I don't wanna get them. I'm gonna eat. What do you <laughs> want me to do? I'll do it. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. I gotta be sharp about my my business. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's hundred percent. I don't. You ain't going to eat, bro. Yeah. I'm just giving. I'm just, you know. But a lot of guys, even if you want to stay back in your corner, there's a lot of girls who write the same. I will tell you, women are followers. Most majority of the time. I'm not saying this. Don't listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what it is. Women move around in groups. They talk around in groups. They're moving. They're moving tactical units. That's where they're the fucking SWAT. They're organized, collected. You know, that's how they move. They, they follow trends. They follow that. So it's hard to beat them because they move. They move as a unit. It does, their unit is not even that strong in that. But that's what it is. It's just what, that's how they follow, you know what I mean? So, when you're looking at all these trends of things that are happening, what if they catch on. They catch on, right? And when you catch on, they catch on faster than men do. Right? So, for us to adapt, to get to that level, you gotta go there. That's why men, a lot of men are trying to make some bread right now. Mm. You're trying to make some bread right now, right? Yeah. Because the guys' levels, they, they're, adjusting the, they're adjusting the meter. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the thing came from there, now it's up here. Yeah. It's unrealistic. Oh boy. But bro, that's what it is. The funniest thing that is that all this is literally gonna go over their heads. Yeah, no, it is. Of it course. Is. Yeah, it is. And I, I told all my brother hate is women and then No one wants to hear women is trigger all of a sudden over the living their own delusion, bro. <laughs> it's, it's funny because yeah. I told my, I told my brother, right? I said men and women mature at a different pace. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it, for men, it's, it's a, a long, long It's a long pace. It's a long game. I'll say it's, it's a longer game. It's a longer, it's a longer game. game. It's, craft, say it's a long game. Right. And this is why, it. and yeah, it's a longer game, bro. It just is. But so I, I, like, also, I also say, I don't know, because I feel like with, with a lot of, um, like our life expectancy is lower than women's. Yeah, yeah for a reason. We take more risks. True. <laughs> we're not afraid of that. We do the most dangerous shit, bro. <laughs> we protect women by just us putting ourselves on the line, but we about to die, bro. That's what it is. It's the whole, it's the whole fucking chemical process in the body, bro. So mm. the body knows what it is about. You know? Do you know? How we we work forty four hours more than women a week, bro. On average, just giving an example, right? We work so hard. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Like women are not designed to do that all the type of hard work. We do it. That's why our life expectancy is lower, bro. How many times have I said this before? I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, the thing is that. They're not gonna take it. They're gonna cancel. They gonna cancel that's what he says. No, but you're spinning them. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just facts, bro. It's just facts, it's, bro. It's really what, 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 what you want to do about that? Yeah, but, but, but no, right now we're gonna live here, but it's gonna skip their hands, bro. Yeah, well. It's gonna skip their hands, and bro, we know it. And we don't give a shit. Okay. My, we're gonna say what we're gonna say. That's what my, I'm saying. My thing is, okay, it's also like, what, what do we now expect from ourselves as guys then? Do you, are we now going to live? Are we now going to tell each other that we should just? It is what it is. We've taken enough accountability. accountability. We've taken enough accountability. No, not, not accountability. Is there time? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about accountability. I'm talking about are, are we now expecting every guy to just because this is how we view women? Let's just act accordingly in terms of just be elusive and not actually try and get to the point where you are that guy, Rusky. Rusky. Would you ever try and argue with someone that's delusional? No, I never <laughs> argue with why do you think I've not replied to the majority of these Broski, people, Ray? We've done a lot. We have reached the point where convincing is hard. No, it's not about convincing. I'm saying I'm, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying to each guy, are you saying that it's it's fine, let's just continue to be elusive. But what rather we- than just try and be that guy. What guy? Be what guy? The guy that's wanted. But- like that's actually like Make that your reality, not your illusion. No, I would never tell them to just oh. be elusive. Or to be elusive. We, 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 I would never tell a guy to be elusive. I would tell him to be that guy. 100%. So, yeah, but then a lot of guys are not doing that. That's, that's why we're having weaker men. That, because that, what we're doing, we're just living in, in an illusion. Because when you go home, you're going home 
to a rat infested bed but when you're outside you're renting the nice cars you're doing the bus down getting the babes so what i'm saying is that like what are we now trying to say are we trying to say it is what it is let's continue as is with nah. the de- de- deteriorating man nah, be that or guy. are we gonna now reinforce this idea that we be need that to guy. get back to our accountability be that guy so we can't complain about the accountability then about for them no for, for ourselves we can't we, but we never do <laughs> no but it, uh, it may always seem as though when we tell them you need to be more accountable we're getting a lot of guys that are taking advantage of the fact that they need to be more accountable so they're being less who's accountable fault? huh who's fault Whose fault is them? It's the guys. Okay. But then a lot of us, because we don't talk. Wait, wait, guys are taking advantage of the fact that they need to be more accountable. So, look, guys are taking the advantage of the something. fact that, that, that the focus on accountability is now on women. Okay. Yeah. A lot of guys are now saying. So they're forgetting about their own. Yeah, I'm not going to be accountable for myself now. Yeah. They, now, it's see, being see, perpetuated see, 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 see because... I mean? Even in the fact where they need to take, take accountability, accountability. We're, we're taking more that. accountability. No, 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 hold on, hold on. That's only a few select guys. Yeah, no, but... No, because yeah. how many of... how So, to be in the, in the 1%, there are certain things that you have to have as your personality trait. Yeah, right? 100%. And only few people can get into that 1%. 100%. Hence why... All of us, as far as I know, we're trying to get in that one percent. When we're trying to get in that one percent, we have to have accountability. Big ups on the table. But the problem is with the other ninety-nine percent. Now that they've realised the light of accountability is no longer on us, they're taking the chill pill. That is causing a like more of a lack of stronger men. Right. Yeah. Now, because guys do not talk, we're getting into a position where, because the one percent are taking accountability for themselves, they're forgetting to kick the back backside of the other guys so that's why i'm asking you guys what are we now telling other guys to be that fucking guy i agree be that fucking guy yeah be the guy who's on top of your shit man that's the thing be the guy who walks around and all the guys just fall on bleed man i don't give a fuck don't you can't tell him nothing else because time will tell nigga time will t- yeah be that guy you, you, know can't, be a, you, you can't be a loser forever nigga <laughs> you know what I mean? for nigga. Yeah, there's, only a, there's only a time frame where you can do that shit remember man. when i went back to saying like women are followers they will follow that guy yeah, you can't do that shit forever. So you can't you do might that shit well forever. That guy, but you also yeah. remember that women don't respect that guy. You know what I mean? They don't really respect that guy. They guy who's just been whatever. They don't really. The transaction. They don't really. There's a really, there's a reason why women fell in love with vampires and wolves, wolves and fucking <laughs> shit, bro. There's a reason why they fall in love with that shit because that's that guy. The guy who doesn't fucking give a shit. The guy who goes on a hunt. The guy who can stand up for himself. The guy who can be that guy. The guy who can take command. That's what. That's what. That's that's the type of guy. That's what I tell men. But listen, I'm going back to the end of the day, like. We gotta start telling women more. Still, even when they're not being un- un- unaccountable for their shit, we're still defending them because we have that innate, that innate thing to do. Like you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, this is my argument. I just want to say this. Tell me if you agree or not. Sometimes we forget, oftentimes that women are adults too. Do you get what I'm saying? They gotta, yeah. they gotta carry their own weight. Sometimes we forget that. So we always put them on the edge like to let them go off some shit, but they got, they're adults too. So we, c- we can't keep making excuses for them. Or is it because women are doing that that he has to be excluded? No, they gotta be better. No, not at all. I know, but... You, you wanna get wiped up, right? Yeah, of course, but... You gotta be better, you gotta just exist. It, it goes back to this whole, <laughs> you can't talk, you can't, you can't talk for women. So when we're having the conversation of because women are this way, we're you know letting them be this way guys need to be elusive or you guys need to act up we can't talk for women so we have to tell these guys don't be elusive yeah 100 percent. that's why if we if we carry on talking about women are a certain way and the guys just have to adapt hence adaptation leads to elusiveness that's now aiding all the rubbish that guys are doing rather than we need to stop being elusive that's my own we just we just need to stop being elusive so again, it goes back to what you're saying. Be yeah. that guy. Be that guy. I I said, what do you think? I'll hear it. You know what I think? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> he's, he's already said it. Yeah. yeah. Be the fucking guy. He really is that guy. <laughs> oh, no, he's that guy. We're in the middle. 
you know? Sorry. <laughs> in the middle of what? <laughs> 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 you say that guy's value is based off what he can provide. 100%. Yep. So you think as an attractive person, I can provide more than you? It doesn't oh, mean we're just fuck, We're just joking, man. We're yeah. joking. No, but I think that the value only comes into relationships. Because it goes back to what I said. When you're talking about uh, the relationship, sex, and all of that, mm-hmm. women are built as sex goddesses. Mm-hmm. That's how they come out. Mm-hmm. They're giving the tools for sex mm-hmm. and to attract us, right? So when a guy is just being attracted to a girl, she doesn't have to do anything. Whereas when a guy now wants to be attractive, he's not a sex god. Yeah. Of course, he he needs to get things that attract women. Yeah. So that's where the whole validation, uh, the evaluation comes from. But then we have to always be explicit when we're saying the value only, like, applies to relationships. Because yeah, everything else, we're all humans. We have the same race. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but you know, you, you talk about yeah, we talk about the value in the relationships. Like, you're not gonna provide for, for something you just like, you know, on this fucking street. You get me? You're gonna provide. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get what I mean? You agree? Yeah. You agree? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna provide for that. You know what I mean? So, end of the day, the whole point of being with a woman. It used to be in a relationship. Yeah. You yeah. know, for that, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of being. You know what I mean? So, but then, we've reached this point of where women are arguing for things they don't even understand. Like, what the fuck did I mean? Oh, God. I mean, I mean we're going, we're going, we're just going, I'm, I'm hitting the nail. The humble nail now, bro. Like, this what the what does that mean, bro? <laughs> Ah, I think I think we're gonna finish there. I'm going soft. I'm going soft. I ain't gonna talk about that. I'm just yeah. that. I'm not going deep in that. Uh, I'm just saying. About what? I think we're it's done. Okay. It's been bugging. Yeah. Well, you, you know, know just, just give an example about yeah. about that. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Thanks yeah. for watching, guys. Yeah, I just have to ask one question. What's the huh? question? Sure. What's on your head? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. These are my beanies. Uh, unreleased. You know what I'm saying? Unreleased. Um, yeah, you know, follow the brand, unreleased the brand on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I just, this is like one of the beanies I made. I made four of them. I'm probably going to drop them with, uh, right now I'm just like, um, trying to grow my Instagram and stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah I think it's a state for anything or no? Um, I think probably the beginning of March I'm going to drop. So right now I'm just like doing like promotion, like, uh, trying to get my brand out there type shit. Um, the people that have seen these have said they're really fire. I think it's really different, um, obviously. So, yeah, I have this one and then, like, three other colorways. I'm going to drop all four of them at the same time. Um, and, yeah, bro. It's fire yeah, shit, man. I got, some shit. Yeah, I, like that. I got some shit on the way. If you like the gunja, you know, <laughs> get a green one. Just saying. Do you have anything that, like, I don't know what the word technically is for it, but, like, anything that, like, inspires your brand? Like, where does it come from? Because I know, like, with deviance a lot of it was like about like well i can't say a lot of it was but a decent amount of it was like with black culture or like black history or stuff like that or you guys did like a whole line with like um just Kobe, like different Robin like Lee. yeah, yeah just thing, different right? like black mm-hmm. heroes yeah. so is there anything that's behind this one <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you bro there's no inspo from this one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, really? It, it's, it's, really? Just, it's just straight. Like, like I think obviously, um, like it's funny because I was having a conversation. And somebody told me. Remember, Doc said they're like, "Oh, this is a Jamaican thing or like slang or term," mm-hmm. and I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. It is unruly. Unruly, yeah. Apparently, no, yeah. No, I never heard of it. it yeah, yeah. yeah it, I didn't know. Is, yeah. I straight up didn't know. Like, I heard my uncle say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you heard that? Yeah, bro, I didn't I, know. I had no idea. Yeah. So I thought it was funny. I had a conversation with two people it's a, it's a tame, from the Caribbean. They said it's yeah. a Jamaican thing, but I, it didn't. The inspo didn't come from anywhere or yeah. anything like that. It's just like I just thought of a name that I thought was cool and different, and I just ran with it. Like I had like before. Actually, funny enough, before the process of like actually starting the brand, I swear the hardest thing is finding a name. Like I actually, yeah. have to, I had this, a bunch of names. I had yeah. this unruly. I, I had like a list of like maybe ten names, and I was just like crossing them out, <laughs> and then I ended up with two. And then I had I had one of my friends just choose. I was like, I can't choose between the two. So unruly. Then unruly was the one. What unruly was the brand. One? Diverse desire. Diverse desire. Yeah. So like it's just that. it was just something creative that I, I came like up with. D and D. Yeah, it's just that's all it was. But yeah, man. Just uh, trying to bring my creativity to life. To be honest. Yeah. So, Makes sense, man. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot more coming for you. Um, next segment is what reactions. Reactions, and then we've got what do you call it? The sports section coming yeah. soon. What are we doing reactions to? 
like uh, what's that shit called? Videos, news. <laughs> what's that? What's that show you niggas are watching? The perfect oh, match. The perfect yeah, match? things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I've never seen that shit, bro. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Safe, safe.